Oh man, we're doing it again. Oh, we're actually back. We're actually back with more D&D. We did it. Yes, uh, I don't. I actually don't know uh, when this is going live or what order it's going live. But uh, this is the second show that we've recorded. And since they're pre-recorded, I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, but thank you all for joining us today, for everyone that's tuning in. I hope you guys have been having an absolutely great time, and I hope we can make your time even more pleasant with some awesome D&D, because we've got some, uh, we've got some, uh, we've got some new players today. I think this is the first time that we're, we're playing together with, uh, with a lot of you. I think the only one I've played with before is McConnell, isn't that right? That's right. Yes, it's our old, our old seasoned, uh, veteran, and you've, uh, you have seasoned. <laughs> seasoned is right. I'm seasoned. Yeah, you're seasoned, man. It's like, uh, man, you got some, uh, you got some uh, good grit and uh, got some good uh, rust on your blade and some good experience. Uh, you've, I've, I've seen what you've done in our previous campaigns. Oh yes, oh yes. It's a really nice way to call them old. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I see you brought some. Uh, I see you brought some friends. You told me that these people were cool and they're not going to be mean to me. Is that is that right, McConnell? Um. Uh... No, they won't be mean to you. No, no, no. They're they're so they're such nice people. They wouldn't they wouldn't dare. They they wouldn't do that. It, is this what I'm supposed to like call for a deception check or I I, I don't know. <laughs> you might want to. <laughs> no. We're all friends here. What do you mean? <laughs> awesome. No, it's uh no. I'm very very pleased to meet you guys. I'm very excited to play some games uh, <laughs> uh, with you guys. Uh, we have a cool. A one shot. So this is uh, for those of you tuning in. A one shot is a type of D&D adventure that wraps up in a single episode. So if you haven't watched anything from us previously, or whether or not you intend to watch anything in the future, even though I really hope you do, uh, this is fully self-contained. It's kind of like a movie, uh, and we have some amazing actors for this movie today. Uh, so I think it'll be really cool for us to kind of just go around the board and talk about your guys' characters and just do a little bit of an introduction to kind of uh, warm things up. Uh, McConnell, uh, do you want to go first? Because uh, I think your character is going to surprise a lot of people today. <laughs> yes, I would love What's to surprise people. I would, I would love to surprise people. Just wait, this is great. Today, I've decided to do something a little bit uh, fresh and new. Uh, today, I will be playing uh, basically an angel-like creature um, called an Asimar, and he's a paladin. And this paladin is mainly focused on damage. So basically, it's going to be a rep paladin, which is uh, new in my in my area of oh. expertise. Wow. Yeah. Um. My paladin is very focused on uh, the religious aspect of things. He's uh, he's got like a I don't. It's kind of like a Constantine vibe. Okay, imagine like imagine like Constantine, but like not as cool, you know, as Count Reeves, but like but still like kind of gritty. Okay, and also he is purely good no evil intentions at all whatsoever um because because that's how i want it <laughs> yeah. that's, that's how i want to play it oh, there's, um there's yeah. nothing but good in your heart so i think that's i think that character i think that character fits yeah that fits i think <laughs> um and the best friend the absolute best friend of my character uh, let's see. Who do I want to pick? Let's go with... Let's go with Nathan. Let's go with Nathan's character. Go ahead. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong choice, buddy. Wait till you meet Rodney. Uh -oh. oh, boy. Uh-oh. Okay, oh, yeah, this is the first time you'll have met Rodney, so... Yeah, looks like we're going to improvise some backstory. Uh, Nathan, I'd love to hear more about your character. So, Rodney is a jaded middle-aged engineer who's got like a ball and chain wife he's a very uh very cynical very unhappy very uh begrudging adventurer and he 
he's more of like a chaotic neutral type who pretty much just does what he uh, feels like at any given time. And he's accompanied by a small cannon that he has made called Edna. And uh, he has a homunculus that's like his little self-image, something created in his own image that he calls RJ for Rodney Jr. Because he has no children. He's a loser completely. <laughs> if you like this character, there's something wrong with you. But he That's has a right. best friend. That's right. And Andy happens uh, to, to be McConnell's character. That's right. He's best friends with an angel. Angel. Wow. <laughs> no, that's a. Is Edna, one question I gotta I gotta ask. So RJ stood for something. Does Edna stand yeah, for Rodney something? Jr. Is that like an acronym or is that like a name? No. I just thought it was a funny name. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be like his wife. You know, it's like it's so like he... uh, the guys in the military in like World War Two. They used to name their planes and the bombs and stuff. Oh um, yeah, they like do. Bertha, yeah. Edna, like. All these like sock hop names that we don't use anymore. <laughs> sock hop. Holy sock shit. <laughs> Jesus. Like Gertrude. Phyllis. Yeah, Shirley. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah, just go talk to Gertrude in accounting. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Gosh. Now we also heard Roddy's voice, I think. Uh. In Roddy's voice, do you want to hand off the baton to someone else? I don't care. I mean, this is your job anyway, but if you're gonna make me do it, I guess you can talk to the goblin. You're not really a goblin, though. You said metagaming's fair game, so he's just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god, dude. Okay. Oh, you already did your whole character description. I think we're not. <laughs> yeah, I don't I think you need to do it. Best. Please. My character, Craig. Uh, he's a, uh, he's a human who was formerly a wizard who suffered some sort of trauma that caused him to want to just go back to being, uh, a, he just wants to be a goblin. He's basically, uh, what weebs are to Japan, he is to goblins. He thinks they're the superior culture. He thinks they're the greatest thing in the world. Uh, he wants to return to monkey, if you will. Um, so he does have, you know, the ability to maybe cast a spell or two, but overall he just wants to use his club and eat weird bugs off the ground. <laughs> and he's trying his best. Uh, his best friend in the entire world uh, is his club, but oh. I'm going to pass it off to uh, Troms now. Hold on one sec. I should have mentioned, because this seems really important, but for some reason in my head I just kind of stipulated to it. Uh, Rodney's a giant fucking space hippo, and he has a gun, so that's probably helpful information. That was a pretty good detail. That was a pretty that's, important detail. That's a big one. That's huge. <laughs> okay. You passed well, off to, uh, who did you pass it off to again? Uh, well, I'm passing off to Trom. Yeah, that, that's In character, me. it would be, I believe, Dirt. Huh? Oh, hey! <clears throat> Get the voice going in a second. Let me explain Dirt for a moment. Uh, hello? I play Dirt. I'm Troms. Uh, Dirt is a fairy barbarian. Uh, I, just, I like the idea that a small character could play a barbarian. So I rolled with it. Uh, Dirt... There was actually... He's named after where he was found. He was found by uh, halflings in a pile of dirt and so they just called him dirt and they raised him as their own and for whatever reason uh, even though fairies are supposed to be rather small he kind of grew up like really big probably because he was eating well like you know just living with what is typically a smaller creature but was like a larger creature to him so he's like he's like uh, a little smaller than like a small halfling you know um he also his he's a little bit different looking than like most fairies. He's got like darker colors and like his like wings and skin and stuff. Uh, sharper features, you know, like his his wings almost seem more like bat like than fairy like. They're they're still very you know he's still got like the the four wing kind of fairy look to him, but they're almost like bat wings in a sense. Uh, 
which for whatever reason is why he doesn't wield the typical great axe that a barbarian would, but he likes to use a scythe, which to him is extremely large, but to a regular person, it's just like a normal grazing scythe or whatever it's called that you'd use <laughs> to like cut grass or grain. Uh, dirt isn't very bright. He's not very bright at all. He was just kind of raised by halfling farmers, and so he used his little scythe and and worked the worked the fields. That's pretty much dirt. <laughs> it's noble. Yeah. And I guess that leaves us with last, but most definitely not least, Corona with what is that character? I I don't even know how to describe it. Um, Ek is a is a changeling bard. Um, somewhere along the lines of while Keck was growing up in the existence of being a changeling, like there were a lot of paths uh, deciding like what it meant to be a changeling and in the culture and then also what it meant to Keck. But it ended up turning into this kind of weird perception that uh, Keck is very interested in changing so Keck can understand other people so that Keck can then use their bard abilities to mold and shape people and control them and make them a better version or a worse version of themselves. So a lot of deception, but it's never a malicious thing, but it's very off-putting, all of it is. So uh, Keck just uh, followed along with the bard colleges because Keck enjoyed the manipulation that came with being a bard and deception and could be whatever Keck wanted to be. Uh, everything about Keck is ambiguous at the end. Holy crap. That's, a, that's the most that wow. I can tell you right now. He's just <laughs> <laughs> a gray being of what the fuck is happening right now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, uh, that's equal parts metal uh, and uh, equal parts uh, wild because uh, that's a, that's going to introduce some chaos. I, I think yeah. that's a... That's a weird party. I'll be I'll be very honest. Like I, I there's a we got a hippo, uh, we've got a fairy, uh, we've got a we got like a an asmar, like an uh, like an angelic being. <laughs> we've got a, a goblin. It's a goblin. Like wink wink, it's a goblin. Uh, and uh, and and we have this like gray matter changeling ooze kind of thing. That's a yeah. That's a that is a strange party. <laughs> we don't have a single normal person. Yeah. Nobody's normal. What are you talking about? Keck is actually very normal. Probably yeah, yeah. the most normal average person here. Okay. I mean, you could be if you changed into one. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. I think we've got a. I'm really excited to see what these characters are going to get up to today. In fact, I think uh, you guys spent a lot of good time and uh it's a very nice intros it wouldn't be fair if i kept myself secret anymore so i think it's time for us to move on to the next stage of storytelling you guys excited yes, yes. Oh, yeah. all right well you've heard from our great wonderful players today but it's my turn to introduce myself Hey everyone, my name is Riku D20. Just call me Riku. It's a lot easier. Now, I am the DM for this campaign, and these are our wonderful players. But what exactly do I do? Now, they control everything about the player about the player characters that they just introduced. Every little thing. A bard, a paladin, a barbarian, a rogue, and an arcanist. But what do I do? I control the world. From the wind to the trees, to their friends and their foes, to everything that they'll see and everything that they'll know. But I'm, I'm no one's scary. I'm not trying to get their characters killed just for content or anything. I'm just a humble storyteller. And what a story we've prepared for all of you today. The nations of Valdar and Ravindatya have historically had an amazing relationship. They were once part of the same nation after all, and they split on 
were relatively amiable terms. As a result, they've kept their borders open for quite a lot of trade, which have made both of these nations far stronger than anyone could have expected when they split. But recently, there's been a little bit of a problem. One trade route's been reporting some disruptions in the supply chain. First, there were reports of banditry, some caravans getting sacked, their goods stolen, but the people in it spared, able to make it home safely. But then things got stranger and stranger. People started to get lost on routes that were very well known and very well traveled. People either made it back home or to their destination, but sometimes a month or more late. Coming back not with gold, not with goods, but with tales almost too strange to be believed. Some talked of colorful cloud people that shifted through the trees, whispering. Others told tales of times when the trees would grow, but the mountains would shrink. This could have been the result of some kind of magic, but both nations don't want to be the first one to send a military expedition to a border. So they did what they normally do in Valdar and Ravindatia. They turned to the guild. They found some adventurers to hire, which brings us to our party today. You have been hired to find out what's happening on this trade route and put a stop to it, just so that this route may become safe again. Y'all ready to roll some dice? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. The trade route, as it's been, as it's been uh, pretty uh, well-traveled, is very well-maintained. Uh, the trees are off to the side, growing nice and tall, a verdant bright green as the brown dirt road stretches out in front of you. You can see wagon trails that have dug small grooves just to how much this has been traveled, but today it is, it is empty. It is somewhat quiet with birds and bugs and Animals flitting about in the distance, you can hear the roar of a waterfall to your guys' right, along with the gentle rushing of a small creek, maybe a river. It's a peaceful area, but you can hear some clamoring coming from the distance in that direction. And I will unpause the game and turn it over to you. We are in open exploration mode. Go ahead and take it away. gonna move on we should move forward yeah oh, come on RJ. Tired. i'm tired guys perfect and now we can see a marching order start to form hey, craig right, you're maybe always that's tired enough walking for now maybe we should feet. take a break you're not tired you're just lazy my little feet are just tired guys please I'm an engineer. You don't know what hard work is. I don't care about hard work. Go to shh, 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 shh. I see a cap. I see a cap. Hey, you gotta okay. learn to float like I did. And the dirt, who's kind of too big to fly, is just kind of like flapping his wings as hard as he can, barely getting off the ground. <laughs> yeah. That's a McConnell. You're almost there. You don't found something up. interesting. Awesome. You're ducking behind a tree. Could you give me a perception check, please? As you sink by this tree, obscuring yourself from sight of a lot of things around you, you know, it's only good combat awareness. You see that this is a, this is most definitely a camp that was used by traders. In fact, it's a remarkably well off. It hasn't been here for too long. It must have only been maybe a month, a two at best. There's a lot of crates and barrels that remain perfectly intact. Some of them open, but placed right back to where they were, almost seeming untouched. There's 
a campfire that's been extinguished. It hasn't been used for a long time, and some pots and pans lie around it, completely unused. The tents are well pitched. This was definitely a well equipped team or a caravan or something that left it here. But you see very large footprints, almost circular in nature, and you can smell very distinctly the scent of is that dung? Oh, oh. What was going on? Oh. Nasty. Dirt's gonna stuff. Dirt's gonna see McConnell kind of hiding behind the tree and he's gonna from from about 10, 10 feet away. Hey, hey, what what are you doing? What are you McConnell, what are you doing? Shh. Oh, what? Why are we being quiet? We need to be careful. Let's go. Why the hell are we here anyway? There's a camp right there. It sounds like it might be a nice camp. Take a nice nap. Dirt, Dirt's just like already forgotten. Why are we even here? Rest my little feet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What's going on? What's going on here? What do you mean? I'm looking at the camp. I point towards the, uh, the road. I point towards the road, towards the fucking whatever the hell. What the hell are those? Oh, cool. Hey, look, it's food. <laughs> two creatures. Oh, I have... used to do this in college. We're going to need two glasses of water <laughs> and a movie about expanding our mental horizons. <laughs> <laughs> two creatures that seem to be upright walking mushrooms have approached you. They look at each other, look back at you. They seem to be carrying some stuff in their hands. They seem a little bit panicked, a little bit nervous. Can anyone, anyone who wants to can give me a nature or a history check? Ooh, I don't think I should do either of those voices. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my hunger check? I'll go for it. I'm hungry. I'll go for oh a my nature God. check. Yeah, Craig's I'll also in, do a nature check. Is a tune with nature. Oh my God. Oh no. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm still looking at food. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely yeah. what I used to do in college. <laughs> You're not able to gather too much information of the l surprisingly large fungus-like creatures in front of you, but they look pretty friendly, if not confused and a little bit concerned. One turns the other and says, we, we don't, we don't have time for this. We must go back. We must go back to Grub Grub. He needs our help. What the hell? These guys can freaking talk. Oh my God. The food's speaking. Did he say no, food? No, no, they're not food. Did he say food? No. Did he say food? I, I stretch out my, I stretch out my hand like, uh, like in a, like, just like a calm down, like kind of, kind of manner. But at, but also, I, I admit, ooh, this isn't gonna cost me, is it? I, I admit like my light, but like a, a glowing like warm-ish kind of light, like a reassuring light. Okay, I don't want them to look at it. Yeah, that you're using your light cantrip. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. That <laughs> is a cantrip you can cast it at will. It does not take any other resources, and there it is. It is a. It is a uh, pinged in chat. Uh, they look at it. At first, they uh, almost instinctively flinch away from it, covering their eyes and looking away uh, before opening it, opening their eyes back up and staring at you. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Uh, we, we, we do not suffer in the light anymore. It is, all, it is all thanks to the truffle dragon. We must go and give the truffle dragon our thanks. They banter back and forth among each other, seemingly confused and very seemingly half mentally present to the current situation. We are not food. Oh, we are not man. food. Can you but, turn that light off? It's so bright. I I I turn the I turn the light off. Does the little flitting Thanks. thing want food? Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. Then come, we are hungry too. We will okay. show you to our food. Come come with us to our food. These guys got food! We have Don't worry guys. Food. We have eventually food. everything starts talking to you. Maybe this is where all those people went. They just went for food. We have food. What is this? There's food. food. This is food. 
This is, uh, I, I closely inspect the table, it, whatever this is, rock? Yes. Uh, go ahead, and uh, if anyone would like to help you uh, with a uh, help action, you can roll that investigation check with advantage. Anybody want to help me look at what we're looking at? Dirt yeah. flaps his wings, jumps up onto the table, and just starts shoving whatever it is into his mouth. Oh, my. Well, there it is. Oh, there. Right. Might wait just there, watching. <laughs> uh, so, Rodney, uh, oh, wow, it looks like both of you actually rolled pretty, uh, pretty well. So, we'll take the 22. Uh, uh, we'll just say that uh, Rodney and McConnell, both of you are looking at this kind of separately, not really teaming up on this, but you immediately see Dirt just fly over to this and just seem like, oh, I'm going to eat it. And uh, Dirt, you taste uh, a very, very, very foul flavor because McConnell and Rodney realize at a glance that you were looking at a formed large ball of shit. Yep, that's what I smelled. Does Ooh, the flicking thing... This stuff's thing... great, you guys! You guys should have some! What are Does you the flicking thing eating? understand our food? Do... Does the flitting thing... What is your name, flitting thing? Oh, I'm dirt! He's just oh. shoveling it into his... I'm, I'm <laughs> vehemently <laughs> disgusted by this action. Like... Like... Disgust. Ugh. It's, uh, the, uh, one of the fungus people says to you, your name is Dirt. My name is Brox. This one's name is Crump. We are Brox and Crump. Uh, they take, uh, some of this, uh, this, this ball of shit, if you will, put little bits and pieces of it to the ground and stick their feet into it, seemingly absorbing its nutrients. Ah, this is good. This is good food. The truffle dragon blesses us with the good food. Ah, it's magic. Did you just say dragon? Dirt's going to see them doing it. And while shoving more into his mouth, he's going to just like kind of look at them, look back at the shit pile and then <laughs> step into the shit pile. <laughs> just start doing what oh. they're doing. Does well. Dirt know it's shit? <laughs> does Dirt care? Yeah, <laughs> I guess Dirt doesn't care. Dirt's hungry, dude. Mm, mm, um, whoa, whoa. Is it a uh, br brump and crocs? This stuff's good. <laughs> you sure you guys don't want any? Yeah, I'll pass, bud. None of it. You're eating shit. Oh, you don't make fun of their food. Just mimicking most. McConnell's disgust. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, Dirt's crocs. gonna have had like a bunch and just kind of hop down, wipe his face off on his arm. Hmm. That was good. You smell very bad. Oh, we have been distracted. That's not very nice. Crump, Crump, we have been distracted. Oh no, Brox, you are right. We have been distracted. We have been distracted by food. This is what Grub Grub warned. We must go back. We must take some of the food with us. The goblins are scary. What? What the hell did you say about me, you son of a bitch? Whoa, what? Whoa, take it what? Easy. You said I'm take scary? It easy. No, take it easy. no, goblins. Take it easy. Not yeah, you. that's me. Yeah, what? I'm going about yeah. the goblins again. Yeah. I'm Craig, Craig, Craig Visualist the Goblin. You better respect me. Craig is a gro goblin. I'm a goblin, yeah. What's up? Oh, no problem with that. Crump. Maybe your name Craig? Your name was Craig. Yep, that's Craig. That's right. Crump, maybe Craig can help us. Maybe Craig oh. can... Maybe Craig can talk to the goblins. Yeah, of course. I got way yeah, Craig speaks boys. goblin. Come, yep. come with us. We will take some of our food, and we must we must placate we must placate the truffle dragon. Come with us. Come with us, Craig. This is there... the second time they mentioned a dragon. I don't know about this. I'm not sure about this dragon. Yeah, I don't care about that. I just want to meet my boys. I'm we not must sure retrieve about the dragon. We must retrieve the dragon. Uh, yeah, they yeah, say as sure they the dragon, just can, sure. continue kind of uh, try to walk in. Directly Ooh, the? to the oh, what forest. the fuck is that? While passing by, Dirt just grabs like a one last nugget and pops it into his mouth. <laughs> Flicks it into the air and catches it in his mouth. Oh, what the fuck is that? There's oh. a giant uh, thing oh. over there. Easy, 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 easy. Is this where we're going, guys? Where do you want us to go? Back here? Yes. Yes. Yeah, all right. The all goblins right, are up ahead. Yeah, all right, let's go. It is goblins. peaceful for now. 
Yeah, all right. What's popping, y'all? Grub, grub. Hello. Grub, grub. You can see, Craig, right to your side, there is an absolute massive fungus next to you that slowly turns. It almost looks like a, almost like a, like a tree, almost like a tree, except if it was made of a giant reddish fungus. That thing looks awesome. It releases yeah, right. a. Just... A pulse of spores that are light blue and teal as it exhales. Bronx and, and Grump? Grump? You, you have, have brought, brought you have brought friends, friends or enemies. enemies. Hey, what's up? I'm a goblin. My name's Craig. You are a goblin? Uh, yeah, says the large cool, huh? mushroom as it takes yeah, one jealous? step towards you. Jealous. Yeah, all right. Jealous no. I'm a goblin. I am not jealous. Yeah, maybe someday. I am Grub Grub. Oh. Yeah, that's all right. Dirt, why don't you talk to it? You like eating shit just like they do. Yeah, go talk to it. Go talk to it. Go talk to it, Dirt. Yeah, I wouldn't call their food it shit. It was pretty good. Shit. All right. Uh, Dirt's going to kind of flitter over to him. Uh, can I do, like, can I do a uh, nature check on this guy? Yes, of course you can. Go ahead and roll knowledge Ooh. nature. Oh, my God. Nice. Ooh. Upon seeing this uh, this much larger creature, some gears start to turn in in your head. You've heard tales of fungus people, but most of the tales were shown to you by just people who have stumbled into inns in the kind of rural areas where you grew up, just adventures going from one town or city or wild stretch of wilderness to another. And they would share stories about sometimes when you go underground, there's a lot of really scary things there. There are giant spiders. Uh, there's giant bear-like things. Uh, there's these things that hang from the wall and shoot tentacles at you and uh, grapple you and then bite you and eat you. There's some really scary things there. But there's also some very nice and some very friendly things down there. And one of them was known as the Myconids. Myconids are fungus people. But they only live underground they're very peaceful they abhor violence but that's not to say they won't throw hands if they need to they much prefer to just survive and if they see anyone that's in need they'll usually try to help them as long as they don't get violent and try to you know loot their camps and stuff of course as long as people are friendly and respectful they're usually completely harmless if not kind if not helpful themselves and you must be staring at what seems to be a, a leader of sorts. The others definitely report to this one. And it seems like he's a little bit on edge. Because it seems like there's some kind of standoff happening here. With creatures that are that normally never need, meet Myconids. Because Myconids, they live underground not by choice. They cannot survive over ground. If it's even for an hour, they have a saying that they tell their young. If you can see the shape of the sun, you are done. They'll shrivel up and die. But these ones are standing perfectly healthy in front of you. Something's up here. These Mykonids are not normal. And that's what you're going to get with a 19. Okay. Uh, Dirt's just gonna be like, uh, hey, hey, I'm Dirt! Dirt, <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm, I'm Grub Grub. Grub. Hey, Grub Grub. Hey, listen, uh, Craig is, uh, he's one of the best goblins I've ever met. You what's don't need up? to worry about him. He's a good what's, guy. What's popping, dog? I'm a goblin and stuff like that. You guys got some going on with some goblins? Need some help? This Craig does, does not, not look, look like, like the, the other, other goblins. goblins. What the don't hell? Because he's a good one. Don't You don't need to worry about him. Oh, I apologize for my rudeness, Craig. I but live under I but live underground. A lot of these things are very, very new to me. I apologize if I have caused offense. Yeah. Hey, man, don't worry about it. Listen, hey, are you supposed to be, like, not in the sun and stuff? Not How are you doing that? Oh, oh, oh yes, the, the sun sickness. sickness. 
Ah, uh, yes. This, this is truly, truly a debilitating thing. But thanks to the blessings of the Truffle Dragon, we are allowed to walk in the light and to see everything that you can see. We wish to bring back this knowledge to our tribes so that they may grow stronger, so that we may establish a connection from under the ground to you, those that dwell in the light. It is a fortuitous day, but these, these other goblins seek to deny us this. Talk to him or something. Yeah, we can get Craig to talk to him. I probably yeah. talk to him. Uh, Dirt's yes. like us to do. Dirt's just gonna be like, we, we we can help out. We promise. And he's gonna smile, and you just see like flecks of shit in his teeth still. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Jesus. Why are you doing this? To us? <laughs> uh, Grub Grub uh, turns around uh, to the uh, uh, to Brox, who's right next to them, and says, "This, this one, one has partaken, partaken in our food." food. The, it's delicious. The other goblins Thank you. Did not quite, quite like it as much. This, this, uh, this, this, uh, this is, this is, this is flattering. I'm glad you enjoyed our cuisine. Here, come this way. Okay. You can kind of lead you guys to the shore where you can see. Uh, come on, guys. It's quite a bizarre scene unfolding in front of you. Right on their side of the shore, there's these two moose bear looking things that look like gnarled vegetation and have a pretty not nice smell coming from them. It's almost like a it's almost like a a corpse that's been covered in fungus. Two of them are just standing there, like guard beasts quietly watching the other side of the river where there are three hobgoblins eating lunch deliberating among each other quietly as to not be overheard over something that seems to be bothering them there are two ogres much much mar much larger than these hobgoblins standing in the camp keeping the eye on the situation almost like enforcers with one of them having four smaller goblins sitting on his shoulders in this makeshift contraption of wood that almost looks like a like a makeshift fort. They're watching you, glancing around, but they don't seem to make any hostile moves yet. It seems like they're in some kind of argument, and they've taken a momentary break to regroup and eat, which may explain why Brox and Crump, the two Mykonids, were heading back to retrieve some food. Grub Grub has probably been over here, sitting and just waiting and watching to make sure that the stalemate is not broken. Grub Grub turns to you and says, We and they have come to a disagreement this disagreement is over our venerable truffle dragon, he says, pointing at this large ball of mist that's sitting right on top of the river. This truffle dragon has given us the ability to walk out in the life, in the light. Without the truffle dragon's blessing, we could not talk today you would have not partook in our food we would be able to learn nothing of your culture i would not know that craig was goblin we have so much to learn but we need the truffle dragon or we will die in the sunlight but they they claim ownership of our truffle dragon because they say they need it to take their home. But they can live in the sunlight. They have so many options at home. And thus, we are at a stalemate over the Truffle Dragon. 
and you hear one of the uh, one of the other hobgoblins shout across the river. God, would you stop calling it the Truffle Dragon? Its name is Spot. Spot <laughs> likes the name. Spot comes when called. It's not a dragon. And it goes back uh, to eating, uh, just somewhat annoyed. And uh, Grub Grub just turns and says, "Eat, Eat your, your fresh, fresh food, food goblin. goblin." And then uh, and just and just kind of turns back to you. We, we are at an impasse. If you could help us communicate with them, so that when we may come to a resolution, that would be much appreciated. We have brought some treasures from the underground. We would be happy to share them with you, if you would help us come to an amicable solution. We do not want bloodshed, but we must fight if our lives are on the line. Will you help us? Yep, I freaking love treasure, and I get to hang out with some goblins. That sounds pretty sick. Yes, we will help you. Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah. I'm coming. Well, this is gonna be easy, guys. Probably the easiest thing we've ever done. Yeah, just let um, me know who you want me to kill. What? We have to, though. What? We it's... could just, like, go home. It'll take, like, 30 seconds, Rodney. You just chill out, man. I got Come this. Come on, Rodney. Roll time's sick. I could just talk to these guys. It took two minutes. Oh um, my guess. Sense. While we're discussing this, can I use Divine Sense? Yes, of course you can. Go ahead and okay. uh, click on the icon so it pings in chat. Whoa. Oh my! Holy oh, shit. Bro, are cool. you serious? <laughs> yes, we got. Uh, we know how much you love to use Divine Sense, so yes, we thought we'd yes. get you a nice effect on that. Thank you. You radiate out this wave of ethereal light as you open your senses to the environment around you, sensing for any magical presence of a being that is either celestial, fiend, or undead. You're initially you had some kind of suspicions as if the light were to draw just drawn toward these two creatures covered in fungus and spores, but they are not undead. They seem to be something else. You can sense a very, very light celestial force coming from somewhere within that cloud. And there's nothing here that is fiendish or undead. And that's what your divine sense would reveal. Okay, I'll just keep that knowledge to myself for now. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. Yeah, all right. So you guys want to just like go talk to them or something, see what we can do about this, you know? Yeah, yes. well, yeah I mean, Who are we talking to? Well, we can just talk to them, yell across the river to my boys and see what's going on. All I right. point at the big one and I say, I say, boys, tensions seem to be high. We should approach with caution. Kurt's gonna go behind Craig and be like, Yeah, use caution! And he's gonna start pushing him towards the edge of the river to go talk to him. Yeah, Get in there, go talk to him! That's what, that's what I'm doing. I'm You're your people, you can do this! I'm going, yep, yeah, alright. Perfect. Hey, you got this, Craig. As, uh, as Dirt and Craig start to move closer, uh, Grub Grub moves down to the side and just sits, uh, and digs his feet into the ground. He seems to be trying to draw some nutrition up. Uh, seems a little bit hungry, but it looks like uh, his camp will help take care of him a little bit while you guys uh, work your wonders and try to bridge whatever gap of communication's been happening here. So, uh, Craig, uh, you're now at the the riverbed. You can see that there are three hop goblins eating in front of you. Uh, they look at you. Uh, they don't seem initially hostile. Seems like they're just kind of in a, in quote, ceasefire right now. Craig, what would you like to do? Uh, Craig's gonna put on his best traditional goblin voice and try and speak with them to see what, uh, if they can, uh, you know, make some sort of peace treaty, basically. Just see what's going on. Alright, what would you like to ask them, or say? Hail, travelers! I'm Craig the Goblin! I'd like to talk to you about what's going on here today, guys. Are you guys mad at these, like, weird little mushroom guys or something? What's going on? Wait, did he did he say he was a goblin? 
Yep. I did. What's up, brothers? How's it going? He's... I've... You're not a Check goblin. Out. Check out my club. We... It's like bugs. Me too. What? I... Eating bugs. <laughs> is he... Is he making fun of us? No, no, I'm just oh like you god. guys. Oh god. No, come on, guys. It's me, Craig. You know? The goblin. I'm Craig the goblin. Guys, come on. He, he looks like a... He looks like a human. Rag drag. What... What what is happening? Uh, says one of the uh, one of the hobgoblins, completely confused. Doctor's like, I've I've never seen a goblin like that, but he seems quite convinced. I uh, well, I'm not from here. You 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 look like a human dressed as a goblin. Yeah, all right, buddy. That's kind of messed up to say, if I'm being honest. For you to judge, I'm a goblin man. Okay, seriously. Cool it, guys. Come on. I'm one of you. Maybe uh, I've never heard of any magic that looks like a. That, that can that can turn some goblin to look like a human. I've never what the seen hell is anyone. Magic? I've it was not magic. What's magic? I don't know what that is. Never heard of it. I'm just a goblin. I'm just a little goblin like you guys. My mom uses magic. Okay. My. I don't know. I don't know. What the, I might. They know what magic is. They know what magic is. Oh, they oh, magic! It. You said magic. Yeah, yes, my magic. Yeah, no, my uh. My clan doesn't use that stuff. Say your uncle does. Your uncle. Your well, my uncle knows about it. He's like touched. He dabbled. He dabbles. Oh, you're doing great, Craig. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I think I'm putting this out. Rag Drag, I'm very confused. Uh, says uh, uh, the one up to the side. Uh, Rag Drag turns and is like, "It is okay, Ratface. It's okay, Ratface. I'm sure. I'm sure this this goblin means us no harm. So, what is your?" What is your name, Goblin? Well, you know, my name is Craig, but I go by Fizzle Wrist. That's my, uh, that's my, uh, my, uh, my Goblin. Well, I have a, you know, I have a kind of a government name, and then I have my, got, you talk, uh, just, uh, Craig's fine. Craig's right. fine. Go ahead and roll Persuasion, please. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. That's pretty cool. An eight up to a seventeen. Thanks to That's an you, right. amazing, score, uh, amazing bonus to your persuasion. That's right. I'm it, very it, impressed by Craig's ability to deceive people. <laughs> what a good popping. It, it seems like, like this. Uh, these other hobgoblins still have their doubts, but they seem to sincerely believe that you mean act absolutely no harm. And they're like, it's like okay, you know, like we'll, we'll give this guy the ben benefit of the doubt. Like, uh, Fizzle Wrist is a nice name, but. Sure, we will. We will call you Craig. Craig is a, Craig is efficient. Craig is an efficient name. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's less like uh, let, letters and stuff, so you got a lot less to worry about. So, so yes, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead, sir. Oh, oh no, yeah, you I'll go ahead. You oh, go first. I'll, well, okay, I'll, well, okay, I'll go ahead. So, like, uh, what's going on here, guys? As you, uh, what you guys. You guys don't like these uh, little, uh, they're trying to make friends with your friend or something? You guys don't like that? Oh, uh, it's, uh, I wouldn't say we hate them. Uh, we've just been at a little bit of an impasse. We've just been at a, a little bit of a, an impasse. You see, a uh, spot over here is a key for us. We have been driven from our home as this foul magic has been spreading. It has caused us to lose sleep. It has caused us to lose appetite. It has caused us to lose joy. Our tribes are suffering, and we must do something about it. I, I We have this conch, and he holds up uh, what looks to be like a seashell type of thing. It must have belonged to some kind of mollusk. And it says, This has been our only salvation, but we have only one, only one to share among all of us. The tribe is suffering. Us goblins, hobgoblins, ogres, we have worked together to survive in our homeland. It is plentiful with all manner of resources and bounty, but it has been taken away from us. We are not powerful enough to find, discover, and chase away the source of this magic. 
But spot here is of the same magic that makes this conch. This conch neutralizes the foul magic that has taken us away from our home. We simply only wish to bring Spot back with us. Spot is so friendly. We just wish to bring Spot home so that we may live in our villages once more. And so that Bong Tong over here, a very rare two-headed orc who has decided not to have children with her husband out of fear of not having enough to provide for the child may settle down and find happiness but they insist that they keep spot and I understand that they have reasons to keep spot we have invited them to our home so that we may all live together but they say it is not an option and thus we are at an impasse I understand what it is like to be driven from one's home. I understand what it is like to not be able to live the way that you wish to live. I do not wish to deny them this. But the well-being of our tribe is at stake. And we will fight if we must. That, that is what is happening. All of this is about spot. As he says, uh, pointing to the uh, cloud on the river. And, uh, and Dirt, as you're uh, climbing on uh, to the Moose Bear, could you give me an animal handling check, please? Where's animal handling? It is uh, actually one of your skills uh, on Ooh. your uh, on the uh, left-hand side of your character sheet. You just hover over it, and when it oh, turns red, you yep, there down. you go. There at first, when you were uh, when you were like leaning on it and like petting it a little bit, it actually seemed to be uh, pretty receptive. It let out a nice grumble. But the moment you tried to climb on top of it as a mount, uh, as a uh, as a mount, so to speak, uh, it started to growl and rumble before looking at uh, Grub Grub, the very large mushroom person, as if a little bit confused and a little bit nervous. What would you like to do? Just gonna fall off backwards, like he kind of like kind of kicks me off so I'm just gonna ah! I'm gonna pick myself back up and it lets out dust a, myself off it lets out a huff and you can see some uh, spores reach out and just uh, swirl away almost like smoke it doesn't seem too upset at you uh, it just seemed a little bit spooked dirt looks him in the eyes and huffs back goes <laughs> does the same thing in return <laughs> we can't take this guy anywhere. Perfect. Now, Rodney, Rodney, before you move, could you give me a perception check, please? You can't make too much of an owl, but you can see some glints of gold in this upturned cart on the other side of this uh, ogre with a bunch of goblins on him just like chittering around. They have some riches in that camp, but some of what you see, like a little sword across the uh, still being used fireplace, glinting the light, seem to be much, much better make than the equipment you've normally seen uh, goblins and hobgoblins use. Usually it's scavenged from adventurers or very crudely forged and wouldn't fetch much of a price at all. You can't quite see anything more, but that definitely strikes you as odd. It almost seems like it was pilfered from somewhere. It looks like these guys are poor guys. You want to just do we just get rid of them or what? <laughs> oh my God. We can't make a decision. We must talk to the dragon. Wait, the the giant. You want to talk to the giant spore? This the fungus. Okay. Oh, I see McConnell's going somewhere. McConnell, what are you to. doing? I'm going around the tree. Back on the bridge here. <clears throat> but before I get there, I just want to take a look. I just want to look, have a closer look before I interact with uh, the 
the dragon. All right. That, are you, were you trying to make like a perception check just to try to see between that? Yeah, bunk? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Go ahead and make a perception check. That's not good. That's a thumb. <laughs> Big old rest in peace. Big old. Big old. Didn't have eyes. <laughs> that's a. That's a lot of fog. Uh, it seems to be swirling in a thick, dense mat. Yeah, you, oh, it's a pretty big, like, a uh, ball of fog. Uh, you're sure that maybe there could be something dragonoid in there, but it seems to be pretty silent. Uh, it seems to be pretty uh, calm as of now. Uh, nothing else that you see. I approach very cautious. Very cautious. Mm -hmm. Boy. While this is going on, I'm going to uh, see what I can learn about these these moose creatures. There you oh go. My. Oh my god. Yes. These are spore servants. A spore servant is a type of reanimated corpse that Mykonids are known to use uh, to be able to shore up the defenses. They never use them for labor purposes or anything like that, prefer to use their relatively large and fairly strong bodies to do the task. But when it comes to defending themselves, uh, they prefer to use spore servants as a front line to take the brunt of the blows. Usually they reanimate some beasts that have been fallen. While it's fully possible for those reanimating spores to take over the corpse, of a intelligent humanoid that's been felled in battle, Mykonids, from what you know, very, very confidently, really, really don't want to do that. They, they feel it's not respectful. Uh, but these are probably, have been animated for some wild creatures that these creatures, or that these Mykonid people were able to kill and defeat, which means they definitely have combat of ability. And they brought him here today in a very tense situation. Uh, and that's what you would know. All right, Rodney. We got this. RJ, I know everything there is to know about these creatures. And let me show you what a real engineer does with knowledge. I'm going to grab my uh, artificer, artisan's tools in my hand. I'm going to walk up behind Dirt and go, Hey, buddy, good work back there. And I'm going to tap him on the shoulder. And I'm going to use my magical tinkering to make him an emit an odor that resembles the pheromones of the uh, the moose creatures. <laughs> and I'm going to back away and just watch. All right. Um, hey, thanks, and... pal. You're doing great, too. <laughs> oh, you got it, bud. Thank you. And uh, Dirt seems to blame for that. Uh, you can hear the, uh, this, uh, the, the spore servant cough and snort uh, before, uh, before looking at Dirt very confused. Uh, as it starts to uh, sit down and begins to open up a couple of mushrooms on its back as it's about to release something. Dirt, can you make a constitution save, please? Wow. Ooh. There's a blast of spores are admitted. In your direction, it's kind of like a funnel. It was it was targeted at you. Ah! Seems to start to dance in the air, as of catching the light, like a flurry of dust and crystals. Oh! Start to feel your lungs seize a little bit, but nothing quite happens. You are a barbarian after all. You've eaten a lot of things in life, including just literal shit uh, mere minutes ago. Uh, you're able to stave off any other ill effects, but yeah, this a uh, this smells pretty good, but the moment uh, the spore servant does that, you can hear some very nervous murmuring come from up the river as it starts to grumble as McConnell approaches. Now, McConnell, yes. can you give me a wisdom save, please? Oh god, a save? A save, oh. that's correct. Hmm. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Okay. What the hell? All right. 
all of, this, all of a sudden in front of you, you can hear a panicked rumble and into a murmur. As there is a sudden blast of dazzling light. Uh. Whoa! Oh, oh my! Oh! You take 35 damage, <laughs> but you're able to save, and thus you take only half. Before you, the fog suddenly dispels, and you can see before you, a mighty truffle dragon rearing up, glancing around in absolute fear and nervousness as it starts to shivel, a shiver, as it murmurs nervously, a little bit afraid. And I think that's where we're going to take a quick break. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Alright, so now now we're just uh we're just gonna run at so we got three minutes of, of time off. If anyone needs to uh take a little buyer break or get some stuff, if not we'll make a coffee. we can just we can just talk and uh and just chill for a little bit. I'll restart the timer. Perfect game no, pause. I'm gonna make a coffee too. <laughs> Everyone stay here, no one else leave. Bro, that is a huge amount of damage. Just just to walk up to something. Yeah, this is um yeah, there's uh this thing was uh definitely uh pretty nervous. It seems to be very stressed out as to what's been going on. Uh unfortunately it seems like you were the first one to approach right when it was spooked. But um but you'll be fine. I'm um, look at it. It's, uh, it. it looks fairly friendly. Nobody can be healed, right? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Do do any of you guys have healing spells? Unless Rodney can. Nope. <laughs> Where'd you get this snail? <laughs> this snail is like so. <laughs> yeah, tickles me off. It just uh, looks a little bit awkward relative to the map, right? This is yeah, um. It's like you lifted straight from Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a. Uh... It's just like Google snail thing. Yeah, basically, this is a uh, this is a uh, 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 Creative Commons, uh, so we're not we are not breaking any uh, licensing laws uh, by taking this. It is a CC zero, so this is a very permissive thing. But uh, I like it. I like it. Yeah, we were trying to figure out like, hey, can we make like a token for this? And we're like, dude, nothing we're gonna make is gonna be like snail tastic, you know? So we're like, like what yeah, if we, yeah. What if we just put a snail there? Like, what if we cover it with some fog? It's just a. Uh... Just said fuck it. <laughs> just fucking send it. I'm sure people will be okay. It's uh, this is uh, this is uh, we've only recently started re-recording, right? So I'm sure people will give cut us a lot of slack. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I think I think that's awesome. Dragon is great. It's, a, it's like a it's a like a, they, they call it a dragon, and the other people call it spot. And now you guys are dealing with a, a giant snail. I'm curious to see how this is going back. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, perfect. We have uh, success successfully run uh, the uh, the ad break for uh, for over three minutes. So we're good to resume whenever peeps are back from coffee. And I think uh, Walnut uh, was out uh, making coffee. He's a slow little guy already. He's a goblin. You gotta leave him alone. He's, yeah, he's you gotta do his thing. He's gotta figure out how to make the uh, to use the, uh, the coffee maker. Just, he figured out how to boil water recently. So I'm oh, just uh, unlock that on the tech tree. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. That's a uh, boiling water is a. That's a, a big pretty, skill. That's a big yeah. skill. Yeah, that's a big yeah. skill. Like you need that for for medicine. Need that for cooking. Need that for manufacturing. Everything. Yeah, boy. Oh, until he learns how to wash his hands. Dude, yeah. that's gonna be oh that's gonna be huge. That's gonna be that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be that's gonna be absolutely clutch. Dude, this guy looks so cool. He's got like a pack of baby baby Yoda, some Grogu's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you ping one more time? The bottom. Mega oh, Gundam that guy, yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a. There's something really weird happening on, on that uh, on that ogre. Got a, what do you mean, something really yeah, weird? Looks like a field trip is about to happen. Yeah. It's a, it's a, <laughs> a field trip is pretty good. All aboard the magic school bus, guys. Exactly. Right on the magic school bus. Is that just a photorealistic snail, by the way? <laughs> it's just, yeah, that's, what I, that's what I said. <laughs> it's uh, it's just a, uh, it's a CC zero. So we are using this with full, uh, uh proper uh, legal use of a magnificent snail. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I'm curious to see as to what's going to happen now that it's finally been revealed and uh, the truth beyond the truffle dragon uh, comes to light. Uh, yeah, we're about six minutes in. I think we're well past the ad break. Uh, everyone. 
Everyone gets to go. Uh, Rain check on everyone. Oh, yeah. First, anyone needs a little yes. bit of time to chill to do that. Perfect. All right. All right. We're gonna we're gonna resume in three, <clears throat> two, and one. So, last we left off. In fact, actually, McConnell, uh, would you like to tell us what just uh what just happened right before this ad break? Yeah, I just got fucked on just by walking up to the goddamn dragon, and this is I, this has never happened to any of my characters. I just randomly got blasted for would have been thirty five damage. So, put it in a context, okay? I have forty nine HP. This thing would have almost one shot me just oh by walking God. up to it. Okay, so we're I think we're dealing with something very. I don't want to say dangerous, but like just I really should have been more cautious about walking up here. We, I mean, I assume we saw a lot of that. Like, we saw the, the magic blast happen, right? It's yep. still giving off an aura. Yep. You guys heard a massive crack, uh, like an explosion. It echoed off the rock walls on this valley. It felt very odd. And, McConnell, you would know this. That was psychic damage. There wasn't any force. It sounded like an explosion, uh, but rather it rattled your mind, kind of kept you frozen for a little bit. And before that, uh, it uh, it simply was covered in a shroud of fog. And you can see in front of you, there's some kind of glimmering aura. As that effect of that blast dissipates, some kind of form of magical protection starts to come back as the thing continues to... Uh, Shudder, it seems to be extremely scared of you. Hey, uh, Craig. Why don't you get those uh, goblins to help us here? Yeah, what the what the hell was that sound? That was so loud. Things kind of scary, and I don't know, I'm feeling like uh, kind of an off day. Uh, it's know? not exactly a goblin, though. It's just, it's just, it's a, I think that's a different creature, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I know, but get your goblin bunnies to, you know, cannon fodder, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I could tell them to say, like, hey. Yeah. Give us the big guy or something. We want Better we them than him? us, right? Do we I mean, want them or something? I don't, I don't know. I think, I think they should kill it for us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I could ask uh -oh. them. Yeah, let's ask them. Yes, yeah, so as you like guys that. were kind of talking right in, the, right in the middle of that massive blast uh, that just hit McConnell, you can hear both sides start to let out, not screams, but panicked cries as they start to scramble among themselves. Like, oh no, oh no, Spot, uh, Spot is angry. Spot is angry. Uh, you can see the two of them uh, go up. Spot, Spot, calm down, calm down, calm down. Spot, it's okay. It's okay, Spot. Let him live, let him live, let him live, Spot. Yeah, they're friends with it. Dirt, Dirt hears that, let him live, and it, you, oh, I should probably go check on McConnell, but... He's like not too concerned, so instead he once again tries to mount the moose bear. This time he just he just full force jumps up, grabs it by the antlers, and gets on its back. You want me to do animal handling again? I don't think you need to this time. Dude. It seems uh it seems perfectly okay. Oh shit. All right, well I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like rear it back. You know how like a cowboy would like rear a horse back and like the horse would like neigh and shit and like. Yeah, oh, yeah. Then I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then I'm gonna ride it off to McConnell. I'm just gonna right. ride it up this way. As okay. they as they approach, like as everybody approaches and Brox and and uh, people approach, I'm uh I'm kind of like I'm on one knee, like clutching my my chest because from the uh, blast, I'm kind of recovering right now. Perfect. It's uh you can see uh the two Mikeness have also rush up to you. The Truffle Dragon rages. The Truffle Dragon rages. Come, 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 friend. Take a step back. Take a step back from the truffle dragon. <laughs> take a, take a step, take a step back. We're just gonna get a little closer with his <laughs> spore mount thing. Oh, mighty truffle dragon. Careful. Oh, mighty truffle dragon. Please sub, please quell your rage. He means no harm. He simply wanted to help you come home. That's it. That is it here, please. Please, please. As uh, Crump throws like uh, one of those balls of, you know, that smelly shit that you guys uh, uh, felt uh, or saw or smell and some of you ate, uh, he mm -hmm. throws a bit of it on the other side. 
Goblins, we must... Now there's truce, we must calm down the Truffle Dragon. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll calm down. We'll calm down Spot. Thank you very much. Here, here, here. Spot, Spot, Spot. Listen to me. It's your favorite... It's your favorite stuff. Some good old poo-poo. Spot likes poo-poo, right? <laughs> oh and uh, kind of kind of puts it there, and uh, <laughs> you can see that they, they're they're putting offerings in front of it, uh, while uh, the two Mykonids drop to their knees, and begin praying. Please, please do not hurt them. Do not hurt them. They do not know what they do. Please, Truffle Dragon. Please. And uh, the, the 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 creature starts to calm down as it begins to continue rolling this big ball of dung into the mass that was offered to it. And it kind of pats it down a little bit, withdraws slightly, but not fully. It seems to seems to have calmed down a little bit. It seems like it would be wise not to get too close to this creature until you've already made friends with it. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, that was close. Jesus. That was close. That was really close. Hey, uh, McConnell, you okay? <coughs> oh, God. Oh, he'll be fine. He's just dramatic. Yeah, you're a bit of a drama queen. Yeah. You know those angel people? You know how they get. Yeah, I'll can I, uh, I'm the savior. Can I just take one... <clears throat> one more step forward and then... Kind of like... I don't know. Can I sense it or like it? I don't know. So do you go to him so bad, you little freak? Do you smell do you... me? <laughs> <laughs> I, really... I would have to, right? He definitely has a. <laughs> there's a little radius of uh, some very, very stanky stuff on uh, uh, uh around dirt. So I think uh, you definitely, you definitely would. But uh, remember, you did cast divine sense earlier, and from within that cloud, there was a celestial right. Right. And this was the only thing that you've seen. You've seen it's either this creature or it's the uh or it's the ball of shit. Uh those are the only two real options. Alright. Um Celestial. Maybe that would be like a an insight? Yeah, uh, to... you can describe what you're trying to do and I can help you figure um, out a role. So I want to try to discern what exactly the celestial is i guess i want to because surely i must have you know I, i'm literally a fucking angel type creature i must have some knowledge of um celestial beings and what they can be or turn into or um i just want to like rack my brain and try to figure out like if i know this creature or if i know what this creature is like what type or something perfect you start to kind of think about like hey do i is there any religious text that may pop out and it's drawing a little bit of a bank a blank so i think you should roll in an investigation as you peer into this creature a little bit deeper okay all right sounds good come on no whammies no whammies come on <clears throat> all right 11 up to a 13 this creature before you, I mean, it looks like a giant snail, but the last time that you checked on snails, they don't release blasts of psychic magic that can rattle your brain inside your skull. That's definitely, that's definitely odd. You're not quite sure exactly what this creature is. It is definitely magical in nature. Its shell is gleaming with some kind of magical aura around it. You may need the help of someone that knows a little bit more. But there's some kind of elemental magic in this creature. Now, you know a lot about Celestials, Undead, and Fiend. You know, you're a paladin. That's kind of your bread and butter. But Celestial does not necessarily mean holy. Mm. Because Celestial magic can change things. What this creature is doing here, why there's some kind of celestial radiance from it, you're not quite sure. But 
if someone could help crack the code as to why there's some kind of elemental magic radiating from this, that may help you get a better read on exactly what's going on here. Because it's terrified both of these parties. They both need this creature, but none of them seem ready to start combat with each other. Because they don't think they have what it takes to deal with the creature unless they're all at full force. So, full force. unfortunately, aren't going to get a lot of information with a 13. But that's what your character would know in terms of next steps. Honestly, that that was actually a lot. Like, uh, that gave me a like That... So, okay. We know that for a fact if they if if either of these parties knew what the hell this actually was they would mm, they'll probably go to war with each other right away right because uh, clearly it's a celestial and like they you know it's very important but they don't want to risk it so and by you saying they don't want to you know we, we need more information that tells me like we need to probably expand what we on like on the map. We need to go like search for things, explore a little bit. I feel like we need to talk more to these guys and figure out like what the hell's going on. Like, you think it was talk? Because they said like they had that like that magic conch thing, dude. And... Oh yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Fuck. Yeah. I think yeah, Dur yeah, gonna I think ask McConnell. Uh, what What do you think that thing is? Uh, I don't know. It's celestial in nature. What? It could be anything. <laughs> Why don't you just ask anything. it? I haven't tried to talk to it yet. Well, ask it something. Just scream at it. Just say like, "Hey, listen." All right, I uh. I, I I face this dragon. All right. I don't want to move closer, so I want to raise my voice a little bit, and I want to say, uh, "What the hell do you say to a fucking snail?" Boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Try, hit him with the wash popping. What's good? <laughs> you want me to call Craig over here? Craig's really good at talking to people. Yeah, oh no, I can handle this. I can probably have a conversation. I'm pretty Ask good. him what it's doing here. Do What's popping? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh... I nods. That was really persuasive. Hey, yeah, freaking nailed it, dude. The um, the snail doesn't seem to respond but like slightly flinches at your voice like slowly drawing it in but it doesn't seem to be uh unleashing another wave uh, of an attack uh the uh the two uh myconids turn to you and say the, the truffle dragon the truffle dragon does not like loud noises don't worry guys i got an opener this works all the time it's singles night that thing might be dumb as oh, well. no. Careful, Rocky. Hey, careful hey hey snail do you like uh the next generation or voyager you know, back in the day, I was a big Next Generation fan, but I think the work in Voyager really eclipsed the writing of the original series <laughs> expansions. The Any thoughts? About? Snail's gonna kill us all. Uh, the snail doesn't seem to be too aggravated uh, by your voices. It's not like a, too much of a shout, uh, but it still seems to kind of stressed out as it strokes its giant ball of dung. Uh, almost like a, a palladium, just uh, bunching itself together, trying to trying to feel safe. Craig attempts to put on his best snail impression. All right, let's hey, let, let's hear it. How's it going? What's going on, dog? What's happening? Goblin Craig, what what the hell are you doing? Uh, says one of the, <laughs> says one of the, uh, uh, one of the You're goblins. Says back, like, goblin. what, what the hell are you doing? Oh, sorry about that, guys. I uh, I also speak uh, whatever this thing is. I speak that language too. It's a snail. What do you think it possibly has to say? 
Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's got some cool stuff to say. Have you guys tried, have you guys talked to it at all? No, but we fed it food. Yeah, alright, we'll try, I don't know, you gotta try to talk to it or something, you know, maybe we can see if we can work some out some sort of, like, split custody situation between you and these weird little shroom guys. That's, I, 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 I mean, you can talk to animals? I can! Yeah. Yeah, I'm very skilled at what I do. Craig turns back to her. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Just fucking... oh, Wait, Jesus did someone Christ. say they can talk to animals? I mean, I can talk to them. It takes a little time. I gotta prepare. Just say you can. Just say you can. Oh. How much time yeah. do you need? Uh, how about Dirt? Dirt didn't say that loud enough that the other goblins can hear. And that, uh, just, just Craig heard it. It, I, oh, we're just talking yeah. to Craig. Oh, never mind. My let's apologies. say, let's just say Dirt uh, only said it loud enough for Craig to hear. Because I, I would actually like Craig to uh, continue being the liaison. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the little guy, he can talk to animals and stuff like that. He can talk to the snail thing. I mean, I could keep trying if you guys are cool with that. Otherwise, he could probably try it, I guess. It will kill you. Nah, it's not going to kill us. You know, I'm pretty good at things like this. You know, I'm pretty, uh, they kind of respect me. I. I I, I guess that's fair. I mean, sure, we'll... We'll wait as he uh, takes a step back and kind of glances uh, nervously at uh, the... Grub Grub, the, uh, the much larger fungus. He starts to take a, uh, a step forward uh, oh. between uh, Rodney and, and Keck. Uh, leans over and says, uh, this is both uh, to you, Keck, and both to you, Rodney, in a relatively quiet, rumbling voice. This, this isn't, isn't. This, this isn't, isn't looking, looking good. good. Do, do, do you guys, guys have, have a plan? plan? I was going to outstretch my arm and do another light, like a, a, a soothing light, like a mitt, you know, and then kind of walk towards the snail. But I wasn't sure if the force field like is something that repels people, and so like you know I couldn't really do it. You can't just soothing light out of everything, McConnell. I'm not trying to, but <laughs> listen, I have it. You know, I have it. Just every oh situation. Wait, you, want me, you want me guiding bolt it? I'll fucking guiding bolt it, buddy. No, man. <laughs> no, I can... Not good. I can, like, send it a message. I just don't know what to ask it or say to it. Why doesn't Keck just turn into a giant snail as well? <laughs> oh, my God. And do what? Yeah, you would fuck his wife poop or something. around? Like, no. What if, but what if you did that? What, what if you did that? But what if you did it, though? You guys just want to see me as a giant snail? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That's all we wanted. That's the whole reason Riku set this up. Wait, maybe you can make <laughs> it feel more comfortable, though. Because it's it's obviously nervous, right? So what if you changed what? into it and made it feel more comfortable by, by like, sharing its its appearance or something? Oh, and then they they would worship you, too. Uh, what, if, what if it gets a little too comfortable? I'm gonna get kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what if you turn into a snail? Okay. You get up close to it, it drops the force field, and then I shoot it in the fucking head. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> It'd be like a Trojan snail. Oh my god. Hide us okay. in your shell. <laughs> hey, guys, I don't know what we want to do, but if you want me to talk to it, I gotta go get ready. Okay, let me let me look at the rest of my changing stuff. Grub Grub, what do you think we should do? You're you seem kinda intelligent. Why oh, thank you. Do an over exaggerated wink at RJ. <laughs> it, do, it doesn't seem like uh this uh this creature has a super good perception to be able to sniff that out. Uh but uh Grub Grub does bow a little bit, which looks quite weird as the that big umbrella of a mushroom head just, kind of dive, just dives down a little bit towards you. I am thankful. As I said, my personal assessment is that this doesn't look... This doesn't look very good. This is the most agitated the truffle dragon has been in a long time. I fear its patience with us is running thin. Look, there's... This is... This is a difficult situation for us simply because we do not want war. Just like they do not want war. We are both just advanced parties and representatives of our families. But we've been at an impasse. One of us has to 
relinquish their rights to the Truffle Dragon. The Truffle Dragon has lived with us for a long time. For months. And there's never been any problems. But ultimately you have seen how dangerous its wrath can be. If you were to help us just to stave off the assault of the goblins and the ogres, we can calm it down and we can bring the truffle dragon back to camp and I can offer you a reward. Oh, all right. For bribing us. You should have just said so. Who, who was able to hear that? Because I know they walked up to Keck and Rodney. Only Keck and Rodney would hear that. Okay. Uh, I think we should have a powwow. Mmm, powwow. Hey, Craig, what do you want to do? Well, I think what we should do is we should ask Keck probably to turn into one of them things and then give one of the groups Keck and give one of the groups the other. <laughs> Stop <laughs> trying to give me away. This dude, come on, man. What is wrong with you? It's, just a, it's a pretty good idea. And then you could just in the night just slink off or something. And say, say hey, Dirt, can you and your gal come down here for a bit? Dirt kicks, kind of like spurs the side of the moose bear. Oddly close to Moose Beard, but yeah. rides him down. <laughs> While over we're here. all clustered together and McConnell moved over, can I use Song of Rest so I can heal him up? Yes, let's take a look at what that feature can do. So you would need to take a short rest, which would be quite a while. If you okay. could somehow make the situation simmer back down a little bit, perhaps find some way for both parties to give you some time to parlay. We can let you guys take a short rest, in which case McConnell can actually pop his uh his healing dice, and you you can actually even save Song of Rest if you'd like to. Um, I think that would be a good opportunity not only for Rodney to explain. Let's do a rest, and Rodney can explain what Grub Grub had told to us. And then we can devise what to say to the goblins, or maybe at least a negotiation. Well, because of this, a... oh what? Uh, here's the thing, though. I'm kind of worried that if we do a short rest, it will, like, regenerate the fog and oh, like, yeah, somebody will have, you know. Mm. So I'm kind of worried that that's going to happen. I, know, right? I, I feel like we're, we're running out of time here. Yeah, there's always you know? trade-offs. Remember, in D&D, the clock is always ticking, but time is a resource, as is the ability to speak with NPCs. So... There's a lot of options on the table. I'm curious to see what you guys will come up with. Okay, can I use healing word and send? Totally, yes. Okay. Hey, Go Craig, basic come slot. over here. What? I'm closer, Craig. There we go. I see hey, the target. Sorry, rag drag and whatever your your name was. Uh, we got to talk. Dirt's got some, you know, some bumps down there and... You know, we're not doctors, but we all got to talk about this. Kind of sensitive. You understand. Of course, and if you guys would like to come here and talk after you are done, we are more than willing to welcome you all. I feel it's yeah, fair right. if we, if both sides have a chance to talk to you. Sure, of course. Yeah, totally, bud. All right, all right, guys. So here's the deal, okay? Uh, Grub Grub over here, big guy. He kind of gave me a message. Uh, and I don't know if you're going to like this one, McConnell. I know you're kind of big on the whole not being a dickhead thing. That's true. Uh, but basically, Grub Grub said he can deal with the giant snail. But we got to kill all the goblins and ogres and orcs. We can't do that. That's Except for Craig. Boys. We're going to leave, we, we can leave Craig alive. We're not killing the goblins. That's my boys. We're not we can't really do this. people. Well, so what are we gonna oh do? Like, are we gonna kill the snail? I mean, you take your pick, bud. Uh, we don't even know. We know what only two sides want of this. We don't know what the dragon wants. Hey, listen. I trust right. the giant mystical fungus. You we got a good point, speak. actually. We need to find some way to speak with the snail. 
Rob, I can Rob, do these it. guys uh, don't like uh, trust me, time. and they think that we should like talk to the snail. Can you convince them that they're wrong? Oh wait, quick question: Did the snail understand anything I said when I did my great snail voice? It seemed like it was more concerned <laughs> with patting its giant ball of shit. It does not seem to have understood. God damn. <laughs> um, if I use the message on it, is that something that this creature would be able to even understand that it's happening? Or even understand me? It's a, it is a cantrip, so actually you lose nothing uh, by, by trying. Wouldn't that just be the same as, like, shouting at it? Because it, it, it can understand you, but it can't uh, reply, right? No, it can reply. They hear the message and they can reply in a whisper that only I can hear. Ooh. I just don't know what to say to it. You understand, Snail? Uh, well, that's the thing that I don't understand that if I send it a message in my language, if it will even understand it <laughs> in the first place. I mean, it costs you nothing, right? So you might as well try. Okay. Okay, uh, Keck is going to explain this ability to be able to message into people's heads and to have a conversation uh, and is looking for, well, what do I say to this person? Or this snail, rather. <laughs> so you guys are trying to come up with some kind of uh, way to parley with the snail? Is that, is that what I'm understanding? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, correct. All right. So message will let you uh, do short messages, but of course you can chain cast this. You guys are not in combat yet. So you guys can figure out a scene together. And of course, Dirt, if you wanted to start preparing uh, your ability to speak with animals, because, you know, say you said you need a little bit of time, that'd be perfect too. Maybe Keck can help calm this thing down. Wait, yeah. I got an idea, guys. The thing seems pretty obsessed with its ball of shit. What if we tell it that the goblins are trying to steal its ball of shit? They're not trying to do that, though. They're I like the way that you are thinking. No, yeah, but like, I don't know. That's not a bad idea. I don't, I don't think you're. I think you're kind of wrong on that one, Craig. Look, I was gonna kind of keep this to myself and not tell you, uh, but it seems kind of pertinent now, so my hand is forced. Uh, there's some stuff over in that camp that they clearly didn't make. Uh, I hate to break it to you, I think your boys over there probably murdered and looted another camp. That's what we do. We're bad boys. That's what we do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> We're badasses, man. All right, just let us be badasses. Uh, while this is going on, Dirt, who's still riding his uh his moose bear mount, um, really wants he he, he he's gonna start channeling his uh speak with animals, but he wants. Not just to talk to the snail, but also because he's now kind of like fostering a relationship with this moose bear. He's like pretty interested in wanting <laughs> to see what's in this moose bear's head. So uh, he's going to stand up fully on the on the moose bear and he's going to reach up into this tree with his scythe and kind of like hook it around a branch. He's going to pull himself up into the tree, and like wrap his legs around a branch and just kind of hang there like a bat. And he's going to close his eyes and start channeling uh, Speak with Animals. All right. Go ahead and ping that in chat, that same uh, yeah, sure. little mouse click, so everyone can see what you're about to do. Perfect. So this will take 10 minutes. So this will give you guys some time. It's not enough for a short rest, obviously, uh, but it will give you guys some time to strategize with Keck. Uh, Craig, it, it gives you some time to uh, make your case, and same thing uh, with Rodney, because uh, uh, the creatures seem to be waiting with uh, bated breath on both sides uh, as they as they try to deal with the snail and get this back to a slightly more demilitarized situation. So, what would you guys like uh, to message the snail? Well, uh, Keck also wants to offer the <laughs> the opportunity to do the same situation like we did in uh, those catacombs or the the mm. cave or what what was that building that we went into and the oh, spiders. Oh, yeah, the, uh, in the test session. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. yeah, totally, totally. And instead of, you know, instead of a giant spider to guilt trip its babies into thinking <laughs> it's still alive and prey upon the weak, <laughs> uh, mourning its dead mother, uh, I could make a giant ball of shit in the middle of the uh, goblin camp 
to entice the snail and then move it around as if the goblins are trying to steal it and deceive the snail. And I mean, it's a way to get the snail on our side or at least be upset with the, snail, the goblins. Yeah. All right. You can definitely. I mean, there's an opportunity. I'm just laying out like, <laughs> we can deceive all of these people. They're just clay. And I can mold <laughs> all of them. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Keck is so cool. <laughs> But yeah. we can send him a message. I love how those are two very, like, opposite <laughs> spectrums. <laughs> While all this seriousness is going on, I'm going to see if I can uh, get high off of Grub Grub. What the fuck? Sure. It's, um... Uh, so you're trying to think to yourself, like, uh, further diving to your, uh, your, your, your natural knowledge of whether or not you can get high off Grub Grub. Yeah, is that correct? I, 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 RG, yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect, cool. You do remember hearing about a ritual uh, that uh, some Mykonids have. Uh, they call it melding. It's when they can mix their consciousness together and have shared experiences, uh, which is really cool. But you also know that they can release hallucination spores if you'd like to have a more private experience. Yeah, you, it's something they definitely totally can do. You just need to breathe really deeply. Uh, and uh, not make your constitution saves, and you will definitely be able to get very high off Mykonid's spores. But you also would, you also know that, you know, Mykonids are very not well studied. So there's, you may want to talk first before you inhale a bunch of hallucinogenic spores, because it may have some side effects that may not be particularly good. But it seems like it's po it's a possible avenue for sure. All right, so knowing all that, I'm going to beckon over McConnell. Hey, buddy. You know, uh, while Keck's working on this, I got an idea. I think so, uh, Grub Grub over here, from what I know, right, with all the science, uh, you know, I took a couple courses, you know, night school in biology. And uh, I think this guy over here will actually make you stronger and more in tune with the forces of good. You just gotta get up next to him and take a good deep whiff. Mm. <laughs> I actually think that would be deception now, wouldn't that, Rodney? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah try this up. Yeah, it'll be fine. There's <laughs> nothing <laughs> wrong about this at all. Exaggerated <laughs> wink to RJ. Nope. <laughs> I say, uh, I give out a cough like, no, I can't, I cannot partake. Come on, you used to do it all the time, remember? No, <laughs> you must stay focused on the mission. You're right, fine. Hey, Rag Drag, you ever get high off a giant fungal <laughs> being? Oh, yeah, we, we had a powwow. We talked about our feelings. That was quite nice, but it was unfortunate that we couldn't find a resolution. You know, you you guys can totally do that, you know, like... But I would say you guys are giving the the, the fungus people quite a lot of uh, attention. Like, like, don't you want to hear our side of the story? We can give you money. Yeah, Craig, <laughs> they're just naturally wealthy and they're offering it at every turn. Yeah, it's awesome. Wait, yeah. Craig can be our, our, uh... Craig, you can be our liaison for the goblins. Find out what they know. What the Wait, hell do you think I'm doing? What is, does liaison mean uh, send him over there as a patsy? Because if so, I'm down. Oh, so yes, you, like should, you should go. You should go. All right. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna have Craig come listen to you ramble, because uh, the rest of us have, like, self-respect. What? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, just get over yeah, there, Craig. How, how deep is this water? Can I just cross this, or what's going on with you? Yeah, I swim in it. just fine. grab Craig and toss him over the Totally. River. All right. Grabs Craig, throws what? him over the water. Hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, the water's fairly uh, fairly shallow. You can, if there's anything there, you can like, stumble across it with that little additional momentum. Get across it very, very, very fast, and you are now... uh. You're now here. Uh, 
Craig Goblin, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. What's going on, fellas? How's it going? Yeah, see, this is a... Uh, this is this is just kind of uh this is kind of what's been happening. Now you saw what happened there. You saw the you saw Spot really take a take a lot out of that uh the friend of yours, the one with the the big great sword and the and uh, and, and and the glowing eyes and the uh, you, you know you know that one. You, you saw him get yeah, hit, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. See, this is the thing. Spot is really, really, really nice. You you need to understand that's not normal for Spot. That's not normal for Spot at all. See, we can work on calming Spot down. We just want to bring Spot home with us. You see, why? I mean, well, you're you're a goblin, right? Like you mm -hmm. must understand what it's like to have your home taken away by stronger beasts, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I see that. There's something foul in the hills of Dordal. That is where we all grew up. That's where our ancestors grew up. And that's where we want our descendants to grow up too. Yep, same. But we can't go back because of this foul magical aura. There's nothing we can do to stop it. We can't we can't find the source, and even if we did, it's so widespread it must be more powerful than we can deal with. So the laws of the wild indicate that we either have to leave or we have to find a way around it. And Spot's our ticket, man. Spot's our ticket. See, look at this conch, and he's gonna kind of lean up close to you and uh, and let you see this conch. He's gonna tell you. Now, now, keep the secret, okay? Oh. This conch can repel magic. Okay. It can repel magic. And so can Spot. Oh. So yeah, all right. we want to bring Spot back to our village, so you know we can kind of create a little, a little, a little place for Spot. You know, maybe Spot can meet another, another, uh, another, another Spot, and maybe produce some baby Spots, and we can live among the snails. That way, we can help hunt. Let. Let Spot and Baby Spots grow up some more shit. They'll be very happy with us, all of them, and we can live together. Hobgoblin, Goblin, Ogre, and Spot. That's all have we you, want. Have you guys tried talking to Spot about this? We tried. It What's he saying? seems seems to be quite fond of just eating shit. Yeah, that's, I feel that. I feel that's that. actually how we got Spot here. In fact, we just kind of went across the river, found it, and realized that it was very similar to this conch kind of thing that we had, and we made friends with Spot. That's the only reason why Spot's here. But I also understand the other side. They want to go back home, and they'll die if they don't have access to Spot's shit. They say that Spot's shit is magical. If they eat it, they can stay out in the sun. But... We've offered them to come live with us. As you can tell, look, like, we're ogres, we're goblins, we're hobgoblins with some more fungus with us. But they simply say they cannot come to the hills of Dordal. They say something about they can't, they'll never be able to go back underground if they do. I don't, I don't understand it myself. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, you guys talk about, like, maybe, like, working out some sort of deal where it's like, I mean, you guys got a lot of shit that you got, right? You guys... You guys make a lot of shit. I know I do, you know. I'm just, it's just like, what if you guys made some, like, shit deliveries for these, these mushroom guys? There. I mean, come here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what we got. Yeah, all right. Show me the shit. All right. Chim Shum, rat face. Keep an eye on him. I mean, we're Grukle. all brothers here. Don't worry about me. Yeah, Grukle. I'm going to show this guy some of the stuff. What's now. popping, Grukle? What's, What's going, little, little one? one? Uh, says uh, the uh, uh, the big uh, this big massive ogre with a little chorus of uh, smaller goblins also uttering out uh, some salutations uh, to you. Now they start shifting around a bunch of boxes, and you do notice that hey, Rodney was right. There's a lot of goods here that seem to be very well ill-gotten. And then Ragdrag turns to you and says. 
Well, you know what you do when you're starving, you know, you, you gotta steal. We stole a lot of food, we also got some of these gold coins, but truth be told, yeah, yeah. we never killed anyone. Yeah. Like, again, like, that's if you kill people, they don't come down the same trail again. It's just a lose-lose situation. Hey, I feel it, brother. A goblin's gotta do what a goblin's gotta do. I'll tell you what. We can give you all of this gold, and I can give you a magic item that I have. Oh, shit. Right, I'll give it to you. All you gotta do is fight off the fungus people. We'll take care of Spot. Spot likes us. Spot doesn't bop us like he did to your friend over there. Yep. We'll lure him away. We'll take him to our side of the camp. And we'll just move on. It'll be... It'll be perfectly fine. Because right now we're at a stalemate. But, you know, something's got to give. You know, we've been here for days. But, I'm trying to be fair here. If you want to talk to the fungus people, you can. But, we goblins, right? Yeah, we goblins. We boys. What questions you have for me? What questions you have for me, boss? All right. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I got an idea. So you guys give me, you know, you guys give me that magic item and some of this stuff. I'll bring it back to my boys, show them it, you know, see if there's something that we're, we're cool with that we want. And, you, you know, we'll, you know, we'll make, well, I'll come back to you, tell them what we're thinking. And, you know, if we don't want it, you know, we'll give you back the item, you know, I'm no thief. I might be a goblin, but I'll steal from the other goblins, you know. So how about should we do that? And then we figure out what's going on after that, you know? Go ahead and roll persuasion. Easy. Ooh! Ooh, Ooh. baby. Damn! You know, normally, I will be like, no can do. Because... Yeah. You know, this is a magic item. You know, it's rare. Uh, but, you know what? I really don't want to turn this into a bloodbath. Gurkle here, we've known each other since we were kids. I really don't want anything to happen to them. And you know what? You know what? Lives are worth more than money. I trust you, Craig. I trust yeah, that's you. Right. Now, you see this here? You see this here? Now, yep. I'll give you a choice. I'll give you a choice. Do you want my blowgun, or do you want my horn? Oh shit! Shit! That's, I mean, like, what's that horn? Is it? What's that horn do? What's that thing like and stuff like that? What's oh, that's it? a that's a good that's a good point. That, that, my apologies, my apologies, Craig. Yeah. So my blow dart, it's got a dart, and the dart magically comes back every dawn when the sun rises. And if you if blow dart someone, it'll It'll cause them to knock out. They won't die or anything. They're just gonna—they're just gonna pass out for a bit. That's how we've been conducting some of these non-lethal raids. Because again, we don't want to kill people. We just don't yeah. want to. I feel that. That's been—I've been carrying on my person all this time, but I can only use it once a day. So it's pretty cool. Knock someone out. Send them to take a nap. But now we got this thing. It's called a—it's a horn of something. I don't know what it is. Uh, if you—if you blow it. It, uh, it, just, it just like blasts people away. It just, uh, causes them to uh, have, have their ears hurt. Very loud. Uh, but yeah, it's uh feels kind of dangerous to be totally honest. You know, it's not our style. It deals a, it deals a quite a lot of a quite a lot quite quite a lot of damage. Uh, so which one do you want? You want? Yeah, you I'll want take my... that one. That one sounds cool as hell. They'll take the horn. They'll take the yeah. horn. Yeah, All right. of course. Uh, they'll rummage together and get out a, uh, a horn for you, uh, which we will add to your inventory yes. shortly. It looks like a, cool. looks like a very crudely carved horn. You're, you have some idea of what it does, uh, but you can either make an arcana check or you can make it back at with your friends if you'd like to make that with advantage or hand it off to someone who may have a better arcana check. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, definitely you. give it to them. <laughs> Okay, perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them check it. All right. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to them. I'm gonna show them this thing, and I'll say, "Hey, we, we're doing this, boy. We're gonna help them out, you know. And you know, obviously, we're gonna side with you guys. You guys are way cooler than those uh, fucking shroom heads." So, uh, uh, thank you, Craig. Yeah, of course. You know, I got your back, Greg. Drag, you know, it's pretty freaking cool, man. It's a couple goblins hanging out, you know, Craig, Greg, Drag. So this, I'm gonna go over there. You want, you guys want to toss me back over the river? 
Oh, I, 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 you, you can walk. Yeah, can you can walk. It's, it's, per it's perfectly oh, fine. Oh, shim shim, it's, it's... toss me over, please. Oh, 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 you need help? Uh, okay, toss sure, sure, over, sure. Guys. All right, all right. A ho, a ho, a ho, and they just chuck you across the river. You just get a nice, amazing all leap right. of 15 feet as you're able to uh, get across the river back to your friends. Hey, good throw, boys. Good throw. Hey. All right. Hey, Grubhub, I need you to walk away. We gotta have a real quick talk over here. Is that cool with you, bro? Certainly. Need, uh, let me know if you need anything, and we'll say about 10 minutes have expired as you've started your parlay. So, Dirt, you will have Speak with Animals ready right when Craig jumps back <clears throat> to your side of the camp. Nice. There's just gonna, his eyes are just gonna pop open, and he's just gonna suddenly just be awake. He's gonna kind of release his legs from the tree branch, and and flop down onto the ground. Okay, I'm ready. I can do Come it. Come here. Oh, hey. Come here now. Hey, yeah. This is urgent. Guys. So what I is just, I just went over there to talk to the goblins. They gave me this horn. They said it's magic. But, uh... They didn't notice that I wasn't trying to sound like a goblin anymore. These aren't real goblins. We gotta cut their throats. <laughs> There's all your problems, guys. We're siding with the mushroom people easily. Also, check out this. Who wants? Someone take a look at this horn. I don't know what the hell it does, but it looks pretty cool. I don't know anything about that. Rodney's gonna back up and get ready to shoot. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, no. do you, do oh, you still God, want me no. to talk to the slug? What? I don't give a shit. Who cares? Oh, okay. Let's kill these. Yes, talk to it. Talk to it. Oh, okay. Um, right. Please talk to them. Oh. That's what y'all want to do, I guess. We gotta kill these fakers. Is anybody good at arcane? Like, <laughs> we should look at this horn. No. Uh, I am. I mean, I'm an artificer. Does Rodney care about looking at the horn? Not at all. <laughs> God damn it. Vlog, oh, dude. Shit, all right. I guess I'll just hold on to this. Why don't you start a band? You can join my I band. I had a synth in college. It really helped with the ladies. What the hell's a synth, man? What the hell? <laughs> Don't worry, you wouldn't understand. You're not an engineer like me. Yeah, all right, okay. That's cool, man. Yeah. Well, Stupid nobody's gonna help you. You can look at it yourself, though. You can, yeah, I'll, I'll arcana check the horn myself. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it could not be more. I can perfect. arcana check it. I don't really. <laughs> what the hell is this thing, man? <laughs> don't even know that it's a horn. Is yeah, this even a horn? Yeah, I, I mean, think maybe they, they may have duped I need a musician. Uh, it may, this may not actually be magical at all. <laughs> it's really funny. Craig eats the horn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check this thing out, Kek. I don't know what the hell it is. Okay. It, it does seem to be a little bit magical, but... I, it's a pretty crude looking horn. It's a little we bit dirty. People who play horns are losers. We got ripped off. We got freaking ripped off, man. I gather all of my intellect, all of my knowledge, and I peer at, I, I, I'm glaring right at the horn. God, and... give this bozo a one. <laughs> I don't, okay. I, I don't let McConnell look at it. That's what oh, Craig doesn't know. Like, no, you can't. Okay. It's my horn. Okay, well, I don't oh trust God. you. <laughs> you. You guys collectively have no idea what item you have been given. Uh, it seems to be somewhat magical. Uh, Why don't you but... just blow on it? Check out this violin I got, guys. <laughs> the violin. <laughs> it's straight up. Yeah, but but you know, Keck's a bard. Keck's a bard. I think Keck would. Yeah, that's, I'm like, that is not a violin. It's very clearly oh, a horn. It's very clearly a little bit magical. But uh, all the only thing you have going uh, for you, Craig, is uh, what uh, Ragdrag uh, told you about it. Uh, the uh, so, but whether you believe it or not, that's totally up to you. Yeah, I mean, but, we'll find but out if dirt talking to the. Craig doesn't believe it. He thinks it's a useless horn, but he still might use it in combat just for funsies. <laughs> There's kind of like a one-track mind, and so he didn't. He doesn't really care that you guys what you guys are talking about. He also kind of just woke up from a bit of a nap, so he's a little That's like true. he's a little kind of out of it. And so he's just he's just, he's he's got one thing to do, and he knows how to do it. So he's gonna walk up here and uh, hey, 
uh, uh, Crocs? Hey, Crocs, listen. I'm going to talk to your snail god dragon thing, okay? Crocs? Oh, 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 I'm uh, Crump. Uh, that's Brox. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't care. Hey, he gave you like guy. a combo nickname. <laughs> huh. All right, gonna, what would you I'm like just, to ask the snail? Uh, I'm just going to like introduce myself first hey it's me dirt i'm i'm with those guys over there we're uh we're good guys um What's they want me to ask you what is popping i i just want my dung oh man i had some of that stuff earlier that that's good that i can understand that it's it's good dung yeah, well, is there anything else you want? Because they kind of want, like, both of them want you. Please help me. What do you mean, help you with what? I just want my dung. Wait, is there more of it somewhere? I'd love to help you get more of that. I just want my dung. You got dung already? What the hell do you want? <laughs> I need more you... dung. Listen, man, where do you get that shit Don't anyway? let them take the dung from me. How do I get you more dung? I want more dunk. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn back towards these guys. This guy's a dumbass. Stupid. <laughs> You're right, time's <laughs> up. <laughs> I've had enough of this dilly dallying. This fucking thing stupid as hell. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumbest fuck snail. <laughs> Dirt is already not the brightest of any <laughs> any creature. <laughs> he turns around and says, This thing's fucking stupid. <laughs> You're right. Back to good old faithful. And I'm just gonna be like, careful. I'm gonna lean my back up against the tree and draw my musket, and I'm gonna just rattle off a shot at Shim Shum over there. No, oh my <laughs> oh, no. God. All right, oh, God. there it is. Fuck. And I think when we come back from a quick ad break, it's gonna be initiative. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, man. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll go Don't ahead. Worry, guys, and... they gotta cross a veritable moat. Bro, this can't be the whole. This... We have to be missing some context here. There, there yeah. must be something else on the map that we. <laughs> well, I, I mean, this is, I guess, meta knowledge, but uh, in the beginning, it talked about travelers going down on this road. That not only were they robbed, but there's people that have disappeared. Like, where are the bodies? So I kind of have this. I'm like. So the spores can be made out of reanimated dead things. Are these travelers? They've spored like back into life. Ooh. Because Ooh. where are the bot? Where are the travelers? Because uh, it can be anywhere on the map. The goblins also right. they don't kill. Maybe the, the goblins... truffle dragon is like the the alien from uh, the what is his name from Key and Peele? Uh, the director. Bro. All the. All the dragon wants is his shit. And there's yeah. only one way to make shit, as far as I know. See, now I'm very curious if there's like a big pile of shit somewhere on the map that we missed. I just think the spores are evil. That's what I think's going on. The spore I guys do are kind all of evil. think. Don't the talk that way about my spores. Like the goblins didn't want to kill anybody because they yeah. still want people to go down this road so they can keep stealing items, right? Yeah, goblins are good. But boys. last time I checked, uh, is my obsession with serial killers and wanting to harvest bodies. <laughs> that you're talking your character or is this just a run out? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, no, this is Keg. Okay. <laughs> We're saying Keg. Okay, sh sure. That, uh, sure. It's all, all in character. Look, all Keg does is watch people and just try to figure them out to decide what Keg wants to be in life. And then make everybody perfect. <laughs> in I'll a perfect Keg world. I was totally into the fucking you turning into the the truffle dragon idea Dude, i was I'm, like i was I, so yeah. on board with that shit. yeah i yeah. still might do it and be the like Trojan they snail. stole my poop and, or my my ball of shit and try Dude. and get the truffle dragon to go after snail me. battle no i'm not gonna battle the snail, snail battle snail battle i have a lot of persuasion so i want to be this snail and be like these goblins stole my ball of poop <laughs> I'll I'll kill wait what's your persuasion yeah what's yours uh, plus nine. 
Yeah, same. What the fuck? Mine's plus, mine's plus nine as well. Yeah, bro, my, per what? my persuasion is plus nine, and my deception is plus nine. Like, that's what I mean with Keck. Holy like, fuck. all I do is mimic people because Keck doesn't understand what it means to exist and be like a, a being. Yeah, Keck's a Dude. Freak. Yeah. Yeah, see, we made good characters, McConnell. <laughs> well, okay, listen, my character is about to, you're about to see how good my character is, okay? okay. I literally got the highest crit that you could. Okay. Listen, in our last session, I got, I, I crit for like, I think it was like 56, man, okay? Jesus. So, listen, don't tell me about good care. I know what a good, listen, I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see. If, if, if the stars align, you're about, you're about to find out. Dude, I'm just saying, they had to nerf me from the last session that we had. Our little practice session. <laughs> they took away all my bardic slots. What is this? Oh, no. <laughs> You're too OP, dude. I did some evil shit, though. That first one was funny, where we had to res you three times. <laughs> In, like, one combat. <laughs> we had to keep resing you. You? I like the way combat work, or the resing works in this game. Yeah. No, we had to keep helping you up. Remember her on the first time we did it? Oh. No, I kept having to help you up over and over again. The first session when it was just Yumi and Troms? What? Yeah, in that dungeon? No, not the dungeon. No, was it, it was like a forest, wasn't it? We were in the we were, forest one. We were in some woods, similar oh, to this. Oh, yeah. I had yeah. like five um, like death throws uh, D20 death, death throws yeah. or saving, oh saving throws in a row. <laughs> It was insane. She wasted them all for the big day. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. When Keck dies this time, Keck's just gonna die. Gonna oh be no my god, he's gonna die forever. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna die no. as a giant snail. Well, nobody can heal. We don't need to. Who needs healing anyway? Look, I can heal two more times. <laughs> We're fine, dude. I've got the violin of blasting. <laughs> 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 Oh, fucking um, man. I'm not worried because you said that you were pretty badass and I'll just give you bardic inspiration and then you'll just one shot everything. Yeah. Well, looks yeah, like let's a see what the dice roll, dude. It looks like a flute. He thinks it's a violin, but he plays it like a drum. Just crack a goblin over the head with it. I'd rather it be a fucking drum and he plays it like a flute. <laughs> <laughs> But awesome. Uh, I am back. Uh, how are you guys doing in terms of everyone have like good on bio, good on everything else? Uh, it yep. seems like we're about we're to build. Yeah, we're a, good. You know, what, what up, back? <laughs> I'm Tron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you walked right into that one. Dude. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, oh, man. that was, I walked into that like McConnell just walked into an AoE uh, earlier today. We, so we uh, like to have fun here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we I do. do we, we definitely love to, but yes, uh, we're ready to go. Shall we proceed to initiative? <sighs> come on. I always get low <laughs> initiative. Thing. Please, come on. Please, just come on. Don't do this to me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. At least it wasn't for a guiding bolt. To Shazam. Oh, oh, yeah, we got to roll a 20. This is bad. This Please, is bad. Uh, roll your initiative. No! <laughs> Ooh, wow. Oh, it's Divinity all over again. I don't oh, want to do it. Wait, sorry, where's the initiative roll again? Uh, next to Charisma, under your health points. Am I stupid? Yeah, I am, okay. The big ones. Ooh, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. I'm a fast boy. God, I can't wait to kill those fake goblins, dude. <laughs> dude Grubhub's in this. Call him Grubhub? Yeah, that's a, that's a great <laughs> recall though. Oh, he's that's a, what, yeah. he's a grub up. Can we get some? Can we get a moment alone? Grub up, can you back off, please? We need a moment alone. All right, look at that. I, I think we this. have everyone in initiative. So, I've already pre-rolled initiative for the other uh, combatants just to uh, just to keep things moving a little bit fast because, of course, you know, this combat could have gone either way. We didn't know who you were going to side with, but. It seems we are ready uh, to... We still don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's... yeah, I missed whatever you guys were talking about when I uh, stepped away from the mic. Uh, so, um, 
Yes, I uh, I think there's a lot of uh, open questions, but I always appreciate the uh, you know the the first shot. It's uh, just uh, get things going. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start combat. So you can hear Rodney start getting uh, his uh, his arcane musket ready to go, but right before he's about to uh, continue, you're able to go ahead and take a Old turn. Uh, what would you like to do, Keck? Um, shit. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, what is Keck feeling like right now? Like, what's Keck feeling? Uh, Keck, Keck wanted to uh, make an image of a giant ball of shit. And then also Keck was like, well, then I could be a snail. And... <laughs> <laughs> Keck's looking for an angle to just emotionally and mentally torment the, the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Oh my god. I'm, a, I'm afraid of, um... I don't want to use up all my spells to just fuck with people when I also want to buff people. Hard. Well, you know what they say in the, uh... You know what they say in the Bardish Mafia, right? No. Uh, they say... Sometimes you gotta buff people, sometimes you gotta fuck with people. That's how we do it in the Bardish Mafia. That's, uh, that's what they say. Oh my so, god, okay. So you, you do whatever you wish. Uh, I'd love to see how you'd like to play this character. Okay. Um... I'm worried about... Gruckle. Because I don't know how many little ads he has on his back. Yep. Yep. That dude so, is dangerous. Hold on, I'm trying to decide between vicious mockery and words of terror. It just sucks that we're gonna have to all go across the bridge because the river's impassable without being thrown across. I don't know. So, so remember, words of terror requires you to be talking to someone for about a minute. So oh that's yeah, you're out, right. Out okay. That kind of thing. Okay, then um, 60 feet. What was the measuring thing again? Ah, uh, yes, so if you click on that little ruler... Oh, that works. Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, that works too, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use Vicious Mockery on Krungle. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want... Okay, let me... Just want this, um, and... What's Krungle? What do you mean, Google? Grungle. Grungle. Oh, Gruckle? Grugle. Grugle. Grugel. Who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Whatever they called the fucking mushroom Grubhub, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's at least so... And then called Grump or Crocs or what? Whatever. Yeah, Dirk can remember read their names. Either. Shut so. up. <laughs> no, Dirk can remember. It was in character. It was a plus one RP what move. The fuck? Yeah, we're roleplay. Okay. Oh, please try. All right. I read so, all the time. I know all the insults. lore. Now, Grugel is going to. This isn't a normal attack. Grukel has to make a wisdom saving throw and try mm -hmm. to beat a meet or beat a 14. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna roll for uh Grukel over here. Out in the Ooh, open. Loser. Rolls a five. <laughs> L, uh, L. which means he doesn't save. So what kind of insults did you want to throw at Grukel? This guy sucks. Make it vicious, make it vicious. Oh yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Tell him you he will stinks. never amount to anything. Oh. You are terrible. Oh. And you're very small. Oh. And you hate snails. And that snail doesn't like you either. Oh, you've just destroyed this man. You can see... Red looks terrible on you. You can see uh, Grugel's uh, large hands go to his head as he tries to fend off uh, your psychic attack, but to no avail. And you can hear him let out a bellow. All I wanted to do was be a ride for my goblin crew. And starts Save to like for shudder your a little bit. Bunny. And uh, he's uh, gonna take uh, four damage, uh, psychic. But if he tries to make another attack roll, 
he's gonna have to make it at disadvantage. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. I like that. This guy's awesome. just trying to be a buzz. So that was your action. You still have a bonus action and your movement available. Is there anything else that you'd like to do during your turn? Uh, yeah, I want to step the way the fuck back because I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna eat shit in the front of this, like <laughs> right on that. <laughs> <laughs> I might die. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. We can only hope, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to end my turn. All right, we're gonna pass it on to Rodney, uh, who initiated this combat. Uh, what would you like to do, Rodney? Uh, I'm going to finish loading Rodney's uh, arcane musket, and I'm just gonna, you know, take aim and fire off a shot at Shimshum over there. Did his yeah. initial shot like miss or? Uh, no, technically. Keck just like did her thing as I was loading my musket. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, if people are aware that combat may break out at any time, I normally see. it's very difficult to get that first shot because the moment you start doing something hostile, people are going to start flipping out and we're going to roll initiative. So if you're not hidden, that's kind of how it works. Okay. I was really hoping this would be like Divinity. We've been playing yeah. Divinity lately. Uh, and yeah. uh, to break combat and get our health back, some of us have just been going into different zones really quick and coming back. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna we're just gonna do that over and over again. Says some of us have been in. It was me. <laughs> I did it too. Don't worry. All right. Uh, so you're just uh, shooting with your musket. Uh, were you trying to use a cantrip instead? Uh, cantrip. Yes. So you can choose to use a firebolt. Uh, the musket is just an alternate weapon in case you can't cast a spell for whatever reason. Um, no, I want to start off with uh, just like a normal shot, just kind of like gauging their defenses. Got it. Perfect. So you let you load your uh, arcane musket and with a boom of gunpowder and a crack of a supersonic ball of metal rocketing towards Shimshun, he sees it at the last moment that you're bringing that musket up and is able to just barely turn him away from you so it glances off his shoulder pad denting it but leading to no damage uh, he's able to deflect your shot uh, the musket does not hit so that is your action you have a don't worry bonus RJ we call that the warning shot you just gotta let him know you're there okay it's not about winning the war it's about sending a message <laughs> and then you just you send in the big oath and you have him do all the heavy lifting. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one right there, McConnell, yeah, he's kind of uh, nimble, but you can just hit him in the face, big guy. And then I'm gonna take another couple steps back into the foliage with RJ. I, that's my turn. I'm literally <laughs> just a grunt. I'm just a fucking grunt. Like I'm an angel, goddammit. <laughs> Divine shield, perfect. Perfect. Craig, it is your move. You witnessed this shot go across and it is heard round the camp. What would you like to do? Uh, I turn to Grub Grub. I say, Grub Grub, please, you gotta help us out, brother. We've always been on your side. We were never gonna do anything but help you out. Please help us. Just to make sure that he's on our side. So hear him respond. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, let me. Oh, yeah. perfect. Get the information before you make the rest of your move. I like yep, it. Yep. It's, uh, Grub Grub, uh, stands back up proudly and says, My Our fellow, fellow people, people, these heroes are with us. We, we must rescue, rescue the Truffle Dragon, Dragon, and I will grant them fortune beyond their dreams. It will be time. For the deepening, and it seems like he's uh, he's motivated to help you out, but he's got to wait for his turn. Uh, but it is uh, it is the rest of your move, Craig. You haven't done anything else yet. That was a free action. All right. Uh, Craig can't cross the river. He's too, he thinks it's too deep. No matter how much he's told that it's not too deep, so he starts to go all the way over towards like where Spot is. Truffle Drake. Hey, Truffle Drake, I gotta come through here. Is that cool with you, bro? Uh, he, he can see it 
Uh, at, at the loud shot kind of scared it a little bit, and you can kind of see it uh, withdrew back into its uh, its shell slightly. All right, all right, so it's kind of withdrawn. So can I make it like to right there, and I'm safe? We'll find out. We'll find out. Good. Uh, that is your movement. You still have an yeah, action yeah. and a bonus action up. All right, I begin uh, as my action. I pull down my pants and begin defecating into my hand. <laughs> as an offering for spot. <laughs> that's so fucking smart. That's actually smart. Yeah. <laughs> Unironically, that's smart, though. Yep. Uh, I think it <laughs> caught all of us off guard. <laughs> you Very use your uh, use a, a free interact with object action uh, uh, to pull down your pants, and you, you just shit in your hands as an action over six seconds. You now, yeah. in your hand, have a... Uh, have a have some poop of your own device. Uh, that, that's what you have. That's an action. You have yeah, a yeah. bonus action left uh, if you'd like to do anything. Can I? Uh, I guess I could, oh, could offer like a tribute, dude. I guess I could. Should, what should I just offer him? Should I offer it to him right now? Then you think? I could. Do I, that. I mean, I think offer it like and see like if we'll let you pass. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, truffle dragon, your spot or whatever. Here's a little shit from my ass. If I, can we come? Can we come through real quick, Bo? The uh, you can see that the truffle dragon starts to turn. But can you make me a free pers uh, persuasion check, please? Oh yeah, I can. Holy shit! I would 14. say, given uh, what Dirt may have realized, this is not a very smart creature. If you had rolled beneath a ten, that may have been pretty bad for you. But. Ooh. I do think uh, it will turn to face you and will accept your offering uh, as you kind of land. We'll say that was still all one action. You still have a bonus action if you'd like to take something else. I think it's only fair. You know, you squeeze out some shit and you, you got to do it for a reason, right? Yeah, pinch off a loaf. And you... <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else that I want to do this turn, to be honest. I don't want to go over there first. I want McConnell to go over there first, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Oh, God. Perfect. Oh my yeah. God. Do, do you guys feel I'm low on HP? Do you get, I, I've been hit. How much HP do you have, though? How much you HP do you have? Healed. Healed. You got healed. I have 33 total. Oh, <laughs> At least I tried to help you, okay? I know. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I, don't, I mean, I've got I've got the way cleared for us, guys. We can all go across here. Dirt will fix it. Just, just be aware, I'm dead last in initiative. So I'll, I'm, go right, I'll go, I'll go right happen. here. I'll cross the I mean, right here. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. What the hell? I'll cross it right here. I'm right by this, right by the snail, so I don't think anything's gonna come and attack me yet. Maybe we'll hope to God. And I'll end my turn right there with Mr. Pepper. Perfect. That's uh. We'll say you use your bonus cunning action to get that dash, and you ended your turn right there, where we pass it on uh, to Grukel, who is our friend right over here, who's still staving off. The uh, the effects of that vicious, vicious mockery. Now, Grukel glances at what's happening around and sees that Craig is returning, but isn't feeling particularly confident about this as he just took some psychic damage out of the blue. And Grukel will turn to face the rock wall and begin to climb. And we'll say that he's going to be able to get right to the edge it's a pretty tall uh but he's strong but this is a pretty tall uh edge so to speak but he's gonna hold his turn there and uh it's just gonna he's just gonna try to play it a little bit defensively and take the dodge action and he'll pass a turn to pong tong pong tong sees something's going on and Pong Tong's to start walking toward Craig. Oh shit. Oh you're dead. Oh yeah, fuck. You're dead. You were talking with the boss. What happened? I tried to say hey guy I said like hey they got like a horn is pretty cool we should sign with them and then and then they said yeah that's right and then they tried to shoot one of the they tried to shoot one of the mushrooms, and it is, he really messed up his shot. He really missed. <laughs> it's all good, bro. Can you give me a deception check, please? 
<laughs> Ooh, come on, come on. It, it, oh! Ooh. Dude. Now, this, uh, now Pong Tong is going to have to contest this with an insight check. So I'm uh -huh. gonna roll that out. Oh. Look at that. That was a natural 20. That was a natural 20, minus two to 18. But natural 20s do not count as an automatic success when it is a skill check. Pong Tong turns and says, oh, okay. Okay. I'll cover you. No way. No. No way. <laughs> Stay behind me, little one. We will we will try to protect Spot. We thank you for your aid. Yeah, sure, okay, whatever. And uh it's gonna take uh, the uh it's gonna take a dodge action, which will grant disadvantage to people attacking uh, her. And that will be Pong Tong's turn. <laughs> So now we're gonna go to these two hog albums up the very at the at the very front. First, the first one will move <clears throat> off to the side, seeing that something has gone horribly, horribly wrong, and will move forward. And it's going to attack this spore servant. Immediately seeing a shot uh, fly from the other side. Doesn't seem this one is in the mood for talking or trying to worry about Craig's safety. He's just gonna he's just gonna send it. He rolls up to a 16, which does hit, which means he's gonna start getting damage on the opposing side, dealing 11 oh. damage uh, with a ferocious swipe of the greatsword as it sticks in to the fungus-laden spore servant. And that is going to be its turn. But Shimshun sees that combat started and is going to stick with his pack and is going oh. to follow suit as well. 22 will hit. Deals only 5 damage with Not a bad. heavy strike of the greatsword, but... Now, something interesting happens. Now, Dirt and McConnell, you can see this. Right as Shimshun is making that attack, Ratface ate by being very close by, splashing some water with his feet to distract the spore servant as the great sword is able to crack right past bone and dive even deeper, dealing bonus damage. No. Wait, what? Four. Martial advantage? Seems like they're pretty well trained. Uh, two heavy hits from Ratface and Shimshum as they have started creating a front line in the river. And now, it is time for Grub Grub. Yes. Get in there, big guy. Come on, Come on. Grub, I, 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 I want to see what this thing can do, man. Grub Hub is going, uh, not Grub Hub, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Hi, Grub Hub. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We're getting sponsored, dude. You're welcome. This, uh, this dream is I don't know. Am I allowed to make jokes about this? Like, is I that gonna? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll cut that. We'll cut that. It was a yeah, joke, we'll the, you guys. We'll not post. actually. God, last time I did some unless... karaoke, like, like one line, we're gonna get banned because of that, and I'm gonna get banned for fake sponsorship. We're not sponsored by Grubhub. We're not sponsored. I, I don't know, actually. Unless. Reach out. Unless. Emails. Unless. Emails below, guys. Hey. Wow, I love playing D and D, but it really makes me hungry. I like being able to go to my Grubhub app and make a quick decision in between my rolls. That way, my characters don't oh. have to suffer, and I have a meal on the way. That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you, Rona. That's, uh, <laughs> you have saved me from great embarrassment. It's, uh, hashtag not sponsored, hopefully. Maybe. Potentially. We'll, we'll put That's it in the weird. description. Someone remind me. Someone remind me so I don't get banned. Uh, Grubhub walks close to the tree, kind of in the middle of this entire combat. It says, my Our friends, friends I, I will grant you the, the portion, portion of, of the deepening. deepening. If, and only if, you trust me, do you consent to the deepening? Uh, oh, hey, bro. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I consent. Go deepen me, Grub Grub. <laughs> okay. I've never seen this before, and I'm curious why won't happen. Dirt is more than okay. Yeah, hell yeah. Just put it in me. I love that. It sounds great. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, what about you, Craig? Yeah, I'll 
going all about that, man. I think I'll just chill over here. Okay. Uh, so Craig and McConnell do not consent to the deepening. The rest do. Correct. All right. You can see uh, Grub Grub spreads out the folds all over his fungus body. As his four feet start to spread to get into position, he, oh, with a yeah. deep, deep, deep <laughs> inhalation, he releases a cloud of spores which spread everywhere. Breathe in That's these spores, the stuff. brave warriors, and partake oh. in the deepening. I am breathing in. Mold me like clay. As you inhale, you can start to see that, uh... First off, you're not... You're not coughing. This is surprisingly smooth. It's like, you've had, like... You've seen people smoke stuff. It's not like that at all. Yeah, this must be indoor, RJ. As you inhale, you can feel yourself growing a little bit stronger. But... It, it almost feels like the grass is uh, shifting colors. With one more breath in, I feel like the trees are starting to shimmer. Whoa! And they start Whoa. to warble and warp. And everyone that this consented, everyone that consented to the deepening, is now granted an inspiration die. Ooh. Now. Inspiration works a little bit differently in the way we play. I normally give inspiration very, very rarely. Usually when I make a serious mistake that would have changed the outcome of a battle, right? Or sometimes as a part of a really cool RP moment where people really take the leap of faith. I don't like to award it just for RP and stuff because that encourages a very specific type of play and I don't want to make anyone who's not comfortable with that have to play that way to get a mechanical advantage. But for those of you that trusted Grub Grub. This inspiration die does not work like a normal inspiration die, which just gives you advantage. You are allowed to take any d20, any d20, and turn it into, well, a natural 20 to get a maximum roll. So you can use this on attacks, saving throws, you name it. <laughs> you can even help out a friend. Oh, shit. But you can only Where's use it once. Where's your maximum crit now, loser? So it doesn't matter what the roll is, we can just turn it into a nat 20? As long as it's a d20 dice, yes, it can be a tap roll, it can be a, a okay. check, Whoa. it can be a saving That's throw. sick. Hey guys, I've changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, I guess you should have done the drugs there, McConnell. I don't do drugs, I'm an angel. Yeah, so yeah, yeah angel, angels definitely Life don't is do a drugs. Drug. And Grub Grub will remain, uh, will remain in the middle while the rest of uh, his fungus tribe uh, start to help out with getting the truffle dragon uh, to start to uh, start to help move back. So the truffle dragon will begin slowly moving as uh, Pong Tong cries out, "Spot, what are you doing, Spot? <laughs> Spot, no!" <laughs> I'm gonna call to it like no, a dog. Man, Hair boy. Thing is shit with it. Hair boy. <laughs> Good dog. That's uh, and, uh, uh, Spot is now on your side of the map, and <clears throat> Grub Grub will pass like, uh, the turn <laughs> uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to Rad Drag. <laughs> the ultimate immersion. And he's gonna, he's gonna walk up to Craig. Like, oh, shit. Craig, oh. what the hell is this? Oh, it's a big misunderstanding, brother. It's just. Is it this, this spot, you know, the little old guy? He's dumb as hell. We well, he said, hey, go to the right. And he said, all right. And he went to the left. So I'll try and talk to him. So uh, Pong Tong will turn to you and be like, yeah, he's he's on our, he's still on our side, boss. He's still on our side. We, we okay. I think you're going to have to make another deception check because this is getting very difficult oh, to believe. No. But I'll let you make it at advantage just because he all got right. Pong Tong backing you up. Go ahead and make another deception check, please. Come on, Craig. Yep. Oh, that's... Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's, a, it's an advantage, right? You have an advantage. You can roll one more time. Let's do this. A DC. <laughs> a little better. better. I don't think a 13 would be high enough uh, for a difficult lie to pull off. You got Pong Pong on your side, but Ragdrag... Ragdrag is, uh, is pretty smart, but you know what? 
you never know. Sometimes he rolls very poorly too. So we're gonna go ahead and do a contested check just to see what's gonna happen. Please, please, please. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes. Yo, rag drag, dumb as hell, dog. Let's go! These guys are dumb. <laughs> Alright. Well, you're the one that said it first, right? We're Craig Drag, right? We're Craig Drag. Craig, Craig Drag, yep. Yeah. Craig, Craig, Rag, Craig. Uh, okay, yeah, I, so I, I, I got, I got your back. I got your back. Together. Craig Drag. Craig, 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> It's gonna be Craig. It's gonna be Craig Dag. <laughs> we're, we're 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 gonna do this. Everything's gonna be okay. Spot, I'm coming for you, Spot. And uh, he's gonna. Uh, this is Token doing that. Gonna, I was hallucinating. Uh, what is that? Yeah. He's gonna uh, just uh, uh, uh. He can't really. He doesn't have enough movement, so he's really? just gonna stay right behind you. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. And <laughs> he's gonna. And uh, he's going to uh, just take the dodge action uh, because uh, he's uh, he believes you are on his side, and uh, he's going to leave you kind of on the front lines and pass his turn yeah, right. uh, uh, to spot who we're just you already moved him actually. Uh, Dirt, it's your move. You're witnessing the chaos. Uh, go forth. Uh, what, what would you like to do? Uh, so Dirt. Um... Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, I don't think Craig got the the spore thing. So yeah, I, mean, I think no, uh, Craig yeah, I think Craig so, uh, Craig did not. I think uh, we just uh, misapplied the effect. But don't worry, you're gonna be back normal pretty fast. All right. Um. Durs, first of all, is gonna prepare himself for battle. So he's a barbarian, but he is like constantly in rage mode. However, Dirt can very quickly enable a boost for himself, and so like a super saiyan dirt is gonna quickly charge up and switch into his more powerful form oh. he's kind of gonna like grow muscles and get like just a just slightly bigger and uh just he, he suddenly looks more menacing like he's taking things just a little bit more seriously you know and then uh dirt's gonna close his eyes for a second it's gonna kind of feel the battle like sense out what's happening everything that's around him oh my bad he's gonna feel it out and he's gonna open his eyes wide stoically looking out towards the battle he's gonna cast fairy fire Ooh, what does that do dirt let me tell you what that does fairy fire <clears throat> does each object in a 20-foot cube within a range is outlined in blue, green, or violet. Your choice. Any creature in the area that the spell is cast on is also outlined in light. If it fails a dexterity saving throw for the duration, objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a 10-foot radius. Any attack or roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it, and the affected creature can't or object can't benefit from being invisible. Does it also give like does it also give like diarrhea as a side effect? Do you have to consult your physician before using fairy fire? Is that <laughs> Oh, you liver failure and immediate death. Last longer than six hours could grant you one. Dirt's gonna hold his hand out and he's going to blast a fairy fire blast right onto the center, like right here. Right uh, on the Craig's head. What the hell, bro? Pretty much right, to, right at Pong Tong, and it's gonna land in front of Pong Tong, like at his feet, and it's gonna spread. Hopefully, hitting everybody. It looks like it. Well. Ooh. What's your problem, man? Seems like uh, the cube is not fully lined, but you know what? I like the spirit just because uh, Craig's in the line of fire. Uh, so sure, what like uh, sure, what the hell? I think it covers like half of them. I'm down well, to give it a little bit of a boost just for the memes. Let's do it. All right, so it says 20 feet, and when I go like for some reason, it lets me place the box like halfway through like a square. Yeah, I, think I don't know. We'll just, we'll just send it. I mean, uh, uh, everything on the map is fair game. That's how we play uh, D&D specifically here oh, uh, on the channel. So I think Ragdrag, Pongtong, Ratface, and Shimshum, and Craig are going to have to make dexterity saves. Craig, I'll let you go ahead and do it first. Yeah. Here we go. Yes, sir. A 17 does beat a DC 12. We're going to have Ragdrag just do the, break, the huh, same thing. <laughs> so Ragdrag will first roll. Rolls it to a Ooh, six. Rag nice. drag uh -huh. does not save. Hey, good try, Roller. Now, <laughs> Tom Tom was dodging. 
Ooh, that's a cool that's effect. Cool. So you can see, uh, you can see that uh, it starts to light up a little bit, which is going to grant advantage to people that attack him. I think now, Ragdrag was also doing that, right? Wasn't he also in dodge? Uh, did I dodge him? I think. Yeah, actually, he didn't have enough movement, uh, so he wouldn't have been able oh, to shoot. actually cross the thing. So he did dodge. So I'm gonna have him roll one more time. Thank you for reminding me. Let's go ahead and have him just sorry, make guys. another dexterity save. Whoa! Oh, Craig, you fucked it up, man. Uh, just helping my bros. Yeah. <laughs> now that is good. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, because uh, I forgot to put the dodge effect on him. Uh, that is that is my misplay. Uh, we're gonna have Pong Tong also try to dodge at dexterity. Uh, let's, uh, or with advantage, a two and a twelve. A twelve meets it and does beat it. Rat Dragon Pong Tong remain unaffected. Rat Face is going to be the next one to try to save. Ooh, Nineteen does save. Now, Shimshum, a nine does not save. Uh, he is. Uh, what color light uh, did you want to use? I think you got you got a choice. Um. Honestly, I'm happy with like that. I can't even tell what color it is because I'm on drugs. But uh, <laughs> whatever that color is, the the little fairy sparkles that are on Shimshum, so that's great. Super Perfect. Fast. All right. Uh, so you have one character that's marked. Well, everyone else uh, tries to dodge. Uh, uh, Ragdrag just looks at Craig and says, Craig, what, what, what was that? What, what, what was his light? No, I don't know. It's probably God or something. It's probably just shining <laughs> down upon us on this day. Oh, man, I really hope you know what you're doing, man. Mm -hmm. I really hope oh, I know what you, I ho really hope you know what you're doing, Craig. Yeah, of course I do. Sure. All right, so Dirt, that was your action. Is there anything else that you would like yeah. to do? If bonus uh, action, Dirt's gonna reposition, but he's gonna do it in a really cool way. So, oh, yeah. with his uh, with his, I think with his left hand, he's got his scythe, and he's gonna drag it behind him. Um, he's gonna he's gonna reposition scythe dragging on the ground behind him. He's st he kind of walks over slowly. I can't. Why can I not move? I'm unable to move. Uh, you may be caught by a wall. Oh, there you go. I'm fine. using the ruler. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the ruler. He's going to move this way. And because Dirt is now in his strong form, he's going to say, you guys picked the wrong fairy to fuck with. I'm going to have my turn. <laughs> Perfect. That's yeah, sick. Really cool. Art McConnell, it's on you. What would you like to do? Okay. As I'm witnessing all this uh, going on in the in the fair fire going out, I decide to uh, immediately charge forward. Okay. And as I'm charging forward, I do. It's like a quick burst. It's like you know, literally like a charge and wow, like a quick burst of speed and uh, golden sparks like fly out from my feet real quick as I'm moving, okay? And then I move up to Shimshum. And I face him. And I'm I'm looking at him. I'm like I don't want to. I, my hand was kind of forced. So I look at him and I, I I apologize for what's about to happen because I know my strength. I know what I'm capable of doing. But I have to do it anyway because, you know, my my friends are in danger now. So I, I have to I have to raise my greatsword up and I bring it down on his neck and I make a greatsword attack. On All right. Position. That's going to be with advantage. So go ahead and roll a greatsword attack. It may automatically apply this time. Yep, it did. The K82. Ooh. You roll up to a 24 from an 18 with advantage. Go ahead and roll. Uh, is that a, is that with advantage? Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry, advantage. sorry. sorry. Uh, I accidentally hit my mic button. Uh, it's a uh, yes. That was already <laughs> at advantage. That's the uh, two D20 KH keep highest. Uh, so you rolled an 18 uh, plus uh, up to a 24. Yes, that does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Two D20. Oh. Okay. All right. 
Uh, that is a, a that is a um, an attack. You have another attack you can make as part of an extra attack because that is uh, one of your class features. Uh, but you can also uh, pop a smite if you would like. Would you like to keep or to hold, or keep or use or hold or use or? I think on these little little ones, I'll, I'll hold my smites for now unless I, unless I get a big crit. Uh, I think for this character, I'll just do crit fishing for smites. But mm, gotcha. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so. I connect. I connect with the neck. Uh, what does it? What does it look like when I when I connected with the neck? Like how 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 bad was that? Like what kind of wound did I inflict? It would have been a pretty grievous wound, but uh, at the last minute, Shim Shum is able to deflect a little bit of your greatsword attack with his own, and thus is able to prevent it from fully deeply cutting into his neck, just deflecting it slightly into his shoulder. Didn't quite break bone, but he is bleeding. Uh, that is a um, that is, that is a wound that could really, really hurt his performance in combat. He's probably not going to be looking forward to another attack from you. Wait, does he okay. get advantage, though, because of the fairy fire? He yeah, did. I got it's it. I got it. Automatically okay. uh, rolled in. Oh, freaking um, cool, man. Yeah, these effects. So if he deflected... Okay, so, all right, my, I bring my sword down, and it hits his neck a little bit, and then he deflects it with his sword. So as he's deflecting with his sword, I kind of use that momentum to bring my sword back up again and aim for the same spot on his neck my great sword. all right go ahead and make another great sword attack and 18 will hit go ahead and roll your damage Ooh. nice Ooh. nice oh my god guy. oh yeah go ahead and describe it for me man all right so with the momentum I'm using, okay, I hit, I, I swing back again, and this time I can actually really connect with his neck, okay? Like, he is, like, it's bad. It's, he's bleeding. Like, it's gushing, all right? Uh, and then it's, so it's not really lodging his neck, but it, def, it definitely, like, you know, really, it's like cutting a steak. Just, and then fucking, I had to pull my sword back because I'm going to get attacked, like, again. Oh man, again. that's that, that, that's that, that's brutal. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, now remember, wow. I didn't want to do any of this. I was forced. Okay, I was forced. It's innocent. But, well, I was forced, so I end my turn. Oh my God. All right. Coward. And as you end your turn, we're gonna pass it to our little goblin friends that are riding on Grugel. An entire oh, course of them start to uh, chatter, as you can see, arrows fly from Grugel's back as they're launching from him, using him as a mobile fortress. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. A 13 aimed at McConnell does not hit, because he has 16 AC, I believe. That's oh, right. Damn. That's right. Oh, Strong nothing. boy. Nothing. 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 Oh, my nothing. God. Nothing. They're all nothing. 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 I'm too strong, baby. Nothing. I'm way too strong! Nothing is nothing! This guy's built differently. You can see uh, McConnell oh, yeah, as he turned back and rises to the <laughs> Four, a few sort of arrows, four of them flying, splashing into the waters. One misses, but the one's aiming directly at you. You deflect one with the base of your greatsword, another one you knock away with your armor, and the final one you just tilt back a little bit as it sinks into the ground right beneath Dirt's feet. Uh, you dodge the entire array of shots aimed at you. And we are going to bring the turn back to Keck. Oh, God. All right, hold on. I can do this. Let me see. I haven't done anything yet. You can't say I'm cool yet. No, I said McConnell. His turn was so cool. Um, Sorry. You're going to become a slug. That's going to be cool. <laughs> Would you still love me if I was a slug? <laughs> Dude, do you guys just want me to turn into a slug? <laughs> it's up to you. It's, up it's, to you. it's <laughs> your turn. It's, 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 it's your turn, okay? It's all you. But yes. <laughs> oh, I have questions, all right? Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. None of my stats change, but... Oh my god. 
I don't want to turn into a giant fucking slug. Then don't. It, the, you I don't do, have to. You don't have to. You totally do don't have to. <laughs> it is your character. They do not it's, get to choose what your it's character your own does. Character. That's right. <laughs> Um, You're let's just, see. Yeah, I'm gonna save that. If they go yeah. after the slug, then I'm gonna become a slug. And then when they get close to me, I'll... Reveal all of their high school secrets or something oh, God. terrible. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> or the dark eras. The goblins? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you got. You definitely have a lot of choices uh, for actions. Anything uh, Keck feels like. What is Keck feeling right now? Um, Keck wants to play with the clay, inform everybody into suffering. Freaky's <laughs> 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 oh, so cool. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. And feel free to ask any questions if there's any clarifications I can do for you. I don't want to use any of this stuff yet. Because we haven't even gone after Pong Pong. <laughs> and right now they're they're pretty chill right now because they're they believe everything that Craig's like, nah, nah, that's yeah. It's different, man. Hey, I'm just doing what I do. Don't like that. I'm just chilling. Yeah, somehow Craig was able uh, to cross the bridge into the enemy camp and successfully persuade them that, uh, or see them that, uh, that he's he's still chill. He's still chill. They're my boys. Yeah. While shitting on his own hand. Yeah, there's a <laughs> lot of things that happened in the span of like six seconds on that turn. Craig never needs combat, Wait, dude. So for Bane, I can. Um... Up to three character uh, creatures of my choice. Do I have to have three, or can I hit to hit one can... twice, or can uh, they have to be three separate ones? But you can choose two and ignore the third one if you'd like. Okay. You're thinking of using Bane? I'm thinking about it, but then it uses my basic slot, and everything is like listed underneath basic. So your level three spell slots will use that special level three slot resource. Uh, Bane is shared with uh, Dissonant Whispers. Uh, your cantrips do not take up any slots. So those are just your, you can always use Vicious Mockery. You can always use Message and, and so to speak. Uh, so Dissonant Whispers and Bane will eat your basic slots. Uh, Dispel Magic and Major Image eat your level three spots. And uh, okay. I think, oh yeah, one more spell, Healing Word, which does eat a basic slot, which is used for healing the yeah. McConnell. Okay. Um... Then I will do Bane on Ratface and Shimshum. All right. Uh, go ahead. And uh, so when you roll the, uh, when you click the uh, icon in terms of that dash roll, uh, you'll have to multi-target. So just hit shift when you click your targets for Ratface and Shimshum, and it should automatically apply the effect. I was clicking no calm. <laughs> going to kill him. No. No. Oh, okay. All right, I see the targeting went down. I will have them roll their charisma saves. What? Oh, wow. A Dude, 19... this is like red prints all over again. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, no! Oh, uh, uh, they both save. Uh, Raphius rolls up to a 19, <laughs> and uh, so does Shimshim up to a 16, which beats a DC 14 charisma. Uh, they can feel some strange whispering uh, in their heads, but they, they shake it off, uh, grabbing some water from the stream and plowing it into their faces, uh, trying to uh, try to stop the uh, magic that was assaulting them. Unfortunately, your spell's not able to bail them, but ooh, that would have been a brutal debuff if you were able to get it off. All right, uh, seeing that, <laughs> seeing that cat failed, X looks at, the, at their hand and is just like, what have I done if I cannot mold the clay? Um, I think I'm just gonna end my turn. I want to be at the front. This is not good for Buck. <laughs> right, that's it. All right, Rodney, we're passing it on to you. All right, Rodney is uh, now satisfied with his initial warning shot. 
All right, RJ, so once you show them what you're capable of, if they still don't back up, you got to remember it's important for later, because if, you know, any authorities ask, we were in fear for our lives. Repeat after me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was scared for my life. But, you know, whatever. They're goblins. Nobody cares. And then uh, I'm going to ready the uh, the arcane musket and fire a firebolt cantrip. All right. That uh, Mr. Shimshum, who is at... Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Uh, with advantage, uh, you the master rolled double 17s up to a 23, which does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Nice. Oh, Ooh. man. Oh, oh my cool. God. Look bro. at Very that. Shit. Yes, yep. sir. 2d10. Yeah, it's not some... a big deal. Don't get too excited, okay? <laughs> I know you're impressed. I'm impressed. I've been studying the way of the gun for a long time now. Me and the boys on the message boards know a lot about our stuff. Oh my god, no. the message boards. <laughs> oh, it's no. so good. <laughs> Perfect. That and then is I'm a... gonna just look at RJ and be like, see, I told you. It's all about discipline, little guy. And then I'm gonna hand off my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Craig, it is on you. Alright. Craig. <laughs> Craig turns to Ray Jake. Ray Craig, I got some bad news. I think I'm being mind controlled by the grub hub. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The only way to break this curse is to I I got it I got um the only way to break the mind control is for you is it? Just give me some money or something, I think, I don't know. I'm really sorry about this. Wait, what? Yeah, AJ, I'm being mind controlled. I'm gonna start attacking you. Please don't hit me back. I'm not, I don't mean to do this. <laughs> I really don't mean to do it, bro. <laughs> oh God, that sounds, that sounds fucked. So I'll, I'll, I'll hit you as light as I can. I'm so sorry. I'm being mind controlled, I think. Can I, uh, should I deception check it, or? No, we go ahead and make your attack. <laughs> just fucking attack him, all right. <laughs> just make your attack, Robert's you're good, you're good. <laughs> All right, uh. I'm sorry, Ray, Ray. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> shit. I'll hit you as light as I can. Bro, bro, <laughs> Natural 20, uh, which always hits. Go ahead and roll a critical hit. Wow. Sorry, sorry about this, guys, Greg. Beat his head into a stump. And no sneak attack, right? Uh, that, you do have sneak, um, does some, some he... Dripping. Yeah, he does have an ally within <laughs> five feet, so you won't get your sneak attack, actually, this time. All right, all right that's fine. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, that's my man, bro. I'm mind control. I'm fucking mind control, dude. This sucks, man. Oh my god, you hit like an ogre. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm the probably strongest. That guy really now. hurt. Yeah, I said this, my bad, dude. I'm, I'm in a lot of control. pain. Oh. <laughs> I that said I'm sorry. That was your. Uh, that was your action, which means you still have a bonus action and movement left. Oh shit, he's making me go goblin mode! <laughs> oh no! What's goblin I'm, mode? I'm so sorry, brother! Wait, what's goblin mode? I'm so sorry, brother! <laughs> uh, this time, still reeling, reeling from his uh, pain, he's a little more wary this time, uh, and is able to block uh, your club with the flat of his sword. Holy two hands, it's like, oh man! Wait, so are you telling me Goblin Mode is just hitting someone with the club twice? It's a cool hit though, it makes me spin it. It's pretty badass. I'm so sorry, yo. That was pretty cool though, right? It, it was kind of cool, but I'm in a lot of pain. I think you broke a bone. Yep, yeah. yeah, that's my bad, brother. I'm sorry. Well. <laughs> and, and you can still move uh, uh, around if you if you like. <laughs> yeah, I'll move behind him. 
Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the um, Hong Kong will probably at this point, Fox is probably really confused. I think Hong Kong would make an opportunity attack. Well, I have uncanny dodge, so I don't think I. Ah, so remember you or... did uh, you did attack Ragdrag, oh. not thing, but you can you can cancel your move and just stay there. I could have uh, moved to right here technically, right? And that would have not. Yeah. That's perfectly fair. That's perfectly shifting fair. Shifting between the two? Yeah, all right. Yep, not a problem yeah, it's at all. all. It's all good, bro. So I'm just, I'm just moving around. I'm just vibing. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, I guess, uh, 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 is that your turn? Yeah, that's the turn. All right. Uh, Grukel uh, will continue uh, to climb and is able to disappear from your sight. What no. the hell? All right, we went. Yeah, you're scared. That's all right. You are welcome. Yeah. Hong Tong. Like, oh, you said you're mind controlled? Yeah, how scary. Ah, uh, my brother taught me how to deal with mind control. Oh, I fuck. can cure the magic. Oh, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> I can cure the magic. Just hold still. Hold still. Uh, oh, this, fucking shit. This will, uh, this will, this will, this will, this will save you. And it's gonna attempt to make a chain smash. Oh, oh my god! That chain sound good. smash! Oh! Wow! A six rolls up to a sixteen, but I think your AC I've is got 18. eighteen. It does no. not hit. Uh, you, can, <gasps> you can see <laughs> that uh, uh, Pong Tong lifts up this heavy flail and brings it smashing on the ground as gravel and dirt fly up as it strikes like a meteor in the ground. It's called bonk therapy. If you hit them hard enough, they are not mind controlled anymore. Oh shit. I'll save you, Craig. <laughs> I'll save you. And uh, oh, it's, so it's just gonna, it's gonna just uh, probably just move over here and just move a little bit back uh, just to Stay a little bit away from the other shit happening by the river, and uh, Pong Tong will end the turn, passing it to Ratface. Ratface sees that there's some weird magic that was cast over here, and can see that spot along with the fungus people are moving away, and realizes that uh, his initial attack may have gone to the wrong target. Ratface is going to take a step up uh, to dirt. Ooh. Yes, sir. And is right. going to attempt to attack with a great sword. Ooh. I don't think you've ever met a fairy like me, son. <laughs> you say that as oh. you witness the great sword swing in the air as his step is slightly shifted to the side as he steps on a slippery rock causing his great sword to crash into the ground he's not able to connect with any damage can i just sidestep <laughs> it like like i just kind of like you turn can. my body uh, and it yeah, swings definitely. past me and i kind of turn my head and like coquettishly look at him is that the word i think that's the word like i'm using coquette? that word yeah yeah like, yeah like you're addicted to cocaine <laughs> coquettishly <laughs> coquettishly you, that's a word you, yeah i get it you're coke yeah. you're like a cokehead looking at him okay I get oh, it. yeah it's yeah, not the right good. word but it still works in a way that is intended to be sexually attractive but it's not very serious no that's, <laughs> oh. that's not exactly what i wanted but we're gonna go with it all right <laughs> shimshon is going to provoke an attack of opportunity trying to shift into position which will not be enough to hit. This Force Servant swipes with its claws as Shimshum moves to the side and attacks McConnell. What? Oh. Hell no. Oh. Oh my god. Uh. Ooh. Um. Wait, who just rolled that? McConnell, Wait, McConnell rolled, rolled that. that. Oh. oh, I, I rolled it. Why did you? Hey, why did, oh, yes. I think I, I think uh, something is wrong with that. Uh, so I, 
I think I understand what happened. Let me un make sure we're fully untargeted. Use my own great sword against he, me. Yeah, that's a, he, he he definitely did not do that. So that is that is fine. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and have it make its. Oh, let me try this again. There was an attack by a spore before that as well. That I don't think it was supposed to happen. There's uh I think there's some uh there's some mistargeting that's happened. I think that makes a little bit more sense. Uh this yeah, time it is for it's for Shimshum. It, there's no advantage on it. Uh I think we'll just pretend that last one didn't happen. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Now it's a new show. These things happen. It rolls up to 14, which is not enough uh to hit you and thus triggering its uh its uh its martial advantage. Can't... Oh, it triggers it? It doesn't trigger it. It doesn't trigger it because it didn't hit. Uh, okay, I want him to... I want... Honestly, I want to be a little bit intimidating. I want him to hit me, but I want him to hit my armor, and it just does nothing. Like, he literally just was not strong enough to, to do anything. Perfect. Uh, you just lean into the greatsword. Uh, it slightly yes. deflects as it hits the curves of your armor. It's not able to quite uh, cut deep inside, but with a clang, it rings off as uh, he tries to hold his stance steady in the river and still suffering from uh, quite a few grievous wounds which you caused earlier. Yeah, he's bleeding out. No, he's definitely bleeding out. And he'll pass the turn to Grub Grub. Grub Grub is going to continue moving uh, with his Mykonid fellows along with the Spore Servants as they gently and very, very, very carefully continue to usher the Truffle Dragon away. <laughs> I'll never get over that thing moving. <laughs> it looks so stupid. I love it. <laughs> He's pretty <laughs> fucking dumb. It's uh, they uh, as they start uh to leave safely to the side of the map, uh, they say, "Thank you, thank you." I thought they were gonna fucking help us. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's like, get for thinking. We could use some help. With... Oh, wait, hold on. No, I mean, we could use some. We don't need your help. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. The soft clay is leaving us. I thought Dirt wanted that giant dumb. He's leaving us my sexy Actually, sport. I think Dirt may have had an attack of opportunity. Ratface is not going to take an attack of opportunity. Dirt, you think these spores are, uh, are, uh, are allies, right? The spores, yeah, I'm, I may okay. be attracted to this one. I think we're in oh, a relationship. Okay, okay yeah. Um, uh, Ratface does not take an attack of opportunity, realizing that these are already combatants that are leaving. Ratface wants to save energy uh, to take down Dirt and McConnell. And uh, that is the turn. They're almost out. And Grub Grub, once again, please enjoy. We will usher the, tru the Truffle Dragon back home. Thank you so much, friends. When you are done, return to camp. There is an item for you in the tents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As I the hope turn... it's more tasty food. Yeah, I bet it's going to be poop. <laughs> the, uh, passes the turn uh, back to uh, Ragdrag, who takes a side step and says, All right, Pong Tong, we'll help you save Craig. And it's going to make Shit. a great sword attack. Fuck. All right. Oh. Rolls up to a 12 as the great sword swings into you with the flat of it. Clearly not wanting to cut you, just bludgeoning you as hard as he can. Uh, but he's not able to pull his full strength into it as you're able to deflect it with your club. His attack does not hit. Sorry, guys. I'm pretty hard to hit. I'm really fast. And uh, right before he passes the uh, right before he passes the uh, uh, turn, he ta he asks you, Craig. Craig, I'm very sad, but we'll cure you. You'll help us take our village back, right? Yeah, I guess whatever, man. Sure, okay. Well, I guess I may have no choice but to use this to put you to sleep. Well, hold on. you might just have to let me just, you know, just let me work this out myself, you know? He pulls out his dart. He's getting oh, ready to oh use a bonus action. Oh, oh you should have taken the dart, man. <laughs> oh, 
But you before night that, night. I think we'll take a quick ad break. Oh my <laughs> oh, god. Damn something. it. Oh, it's been an hour already? Yeah, it's um yeah. we we're we're almost there. Uh you guys are getting ready to close up the fight. You've nearly uh solved the objective. Uh the Machinids will be able to eat magical poop uh, from the truffle dragon we'll and see uh, and that. live. <laughs> Bro, it's gonna take at least another hour just to fucking kill Groove. <laughs> yeah, and then another couple hours to kill Grubhub. Uh oh. <laughs> oh god. I didn't know that's the way we're going. We're going that's back extra for him. Loot. Yeah, I gotta work with the I gotta I am not breaking this 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 RP. I'm keeping the goblins thinking that I'm <laughs> part of them. <laughs> These fake goblins. Dude, Craig hates fake goblins. Yeah, they're they're fake. Yeah, not like him. Yeah, there's uh um, they're in a yeah, this is a this is a dicey spot. You have a um, uh, Grukel is uh, watching you from uh, an elevated area. Grukel can see everything, but you cannot see Grukel. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it seems like we have. Yeah, you guys are in a pretty good. Uh, uh, you guys are in a pretty good uh, position. I think. Uh, like, uh, Cac, you have a lot of options that you could, po you could yeah. possibly throw on the board here. Yeah. Hey, bud. Mr. Pepper. Come here, bud. Perfect. I think we got like a minute or so back. I'm going to mute really fast and uh, check in on some stuff. But feel free to dodge it about, and uh, we'll be back shortly. There's no way we lose this battle, guys. I'll carry us to victory with my words. <clears throat> So fucking high, dude. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Wait, can, so you can't see the effects? I can't, uh, walnut? Uh, I could for a while, but it it they they removed it eventually. It's really cool though. It's cool like shimmer and stuff like that. So do we only have one use of that? How did that work again? Of the the deepening? That was just that one dude doing it for you. The grub grub doing it for you guys. Yeah, but it gave us like oh I don't, yeah i don't actually know how many times you can use that and stuff Sorry, give me a quick second. Okay. Perfect. Cool. We're uh, we're <laughs> we're uh, we're good. Uh, those are ones I had to absolutely respond to uh, immediately. So cool. I think we've got. Uh, so I am back. We have done our time allotment, and we are in the tail end of combat. Uh, is everyone ready to go? I'm yep. good. Yep. All right. Rag drag will pass the turn back to dirt so how does the drug stuff work the drug spores yep. so you got we just have like uh, one chance of inspiration or something you said yep you just got one use of it and you can basically said oh yeah that was like an eight that's gonna go up to a, a 20 and it'll effectively be a uh, it'll be a, it'll be basically be a perfect roll 
Okay. 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 Um. All right, dirt. Uh, completely unfazed by the attack that Ratface made on him. Uh, stands stoically, slightly under three feet tall, in front of Ratface. Or however tall he is, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Dur is going to attempt to make a shove attack in the hopes of making Ratface here go prone in the water. How deep is this water? Is this deep enough that his face would be underneath the water if he were to go prone? I think, like, maybe a little bit, but he wouldn't, like, start drowning or anything, but he'd definitely right. be on the ground and it wouldn't be a fun day. Mm hmm Shove attack definitely counts as an attack, right? Like, I'd get my extra attack for, for using it, because it says whenever you take an attack action, you get your extra attack. I just realized I forgot to give Ragdrag the rest of his turn. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay. He has a, the rest of his turn. Go back. Yep, he has a, a bonus action. All right, let's go see. He oh wait, has... yeah, he's putting Walnut to sleep with the dart. Oh yeah. Yep. So he is going to make an attack against you, but this will have to be at disadvantage okay, okay so i'm gonna go ahead and have him just roll the dart because you are within five feet if there is an if there's something happening of five feet for a ranged attack mm -hmm. it's uh it is done at disadvantage uh okay. so i'll have him roll one more time i rolled uh he rolled the okay to his 75 doesn't matter i think you have 18 ac uh yep. so it does not hit. You see a dart flying out in front of you as you deftly dodge it uh, as he's slightly distracted. It's like, oh, Craig, come on, stand still. This will just put you to sleep. It's not going to hurt. No, it's all good, bro. I'm pretty, I'm not really tired. All right, that will be uh, his turn. Sorry about that dirt. Go ahead and continue. I think you wanted to make a shove attack to knock him yeah, into the water. But I was curious if shove attack counts as an attack. So like, do I get my extra attack? That, that is correct. It cool. is just one of your attack actions. Cool. All right. Dirt is going to he's going to go for the shove attack on rat face. Uh, I think I just roll athletics for this one. Yep. You can uh, click the shove attack icon. I think it may actually it'll ping in chat and uh, it, it may target. So yeah, go ping ahead and roll athletics. Chat, but it didn't. Oh, it's it just making me roll it. Yeah. <laughs> At 19 with advantage due to your barbarian rage uh, mm. versus that six acrobatics as he tries to dodge sloppily in the water. You can choose whether you want to knock him prone or five feet away, and I believe you chose prone. Yeah, I want him to be prone. I want him to be like laying in the water like a pathetic whelp. He's drowning. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say get the hell out of my way loser i'm gonna kind of push him out of my way and i'm gonna shift my focus on shim sham here yeah dude and i'm gonna use my extra attack uh and i'm gonna go for it on shim sham's extra nice. attack kill him. Oh, you and then just, hit him with the side. side yep take this he never yeah! misses he never, miss. he never misses he never misses 18 with dead. advantage to a 24 that hits go ahead and roll your damage all right uh dirt reels his scythe back from behind him and he does like a full 360 circle over yes. his head uh he watched mcconnell attack this guy this guy's neck but mcconnell was only attacking one side so dirt seeing a, an exposed artery a side that wasn't attacked Brings the scythe down on Shim Sham. Yeah. Oh, fuck. And as it sinks into his body, you can feel his his body start to stiffen up before relaxing. Uh, his pulse has ended. Shim Shum is no more. See, kid, we did all the hard work and they just did the cleanup. You guys are to yourself. 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was your action. Uh, your bonus action and movement. Anything you'd like to do? Um. Yeah, actually. Uh, I'm just. I'm gonna start moving. He's, so he's prone, right? Does he still get an attack of opportunity? He will. You just gotta make it at disadvantage, though. <laughs> What a sucker. Uh, Dirt, Dirt's going to start walking away, dragging his scythe behind him against the rocks and through the river. He's going to say to Ratface as he passes by, you're not even worth my time. Oh, and he's going to get right up oh here God. next to Pong Tong and Rag Drag. Awesome. Right before you move, uh, just to make sure this targets properly, you can go ahead and undo your move. Oh yeah, oh, I can kind of, that's that's totally fine. I'll just yeah, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh god, what have I done? Uh, rag drag moved for some reason. He was to the left a little bit. Oh god. Yep, there that undid my move. Perfect. We're now back uh, to where we should be. So he's gonna have to make this at dis at, at disadvantage. That was his first one. Well, fifteen wouldn't hit anyway. Uh, so uh, you're free to go ahead and move right back uh, to where Let you were. Let me see the other roll. Oh, of course, we <laughs> can do that. Dirt Add continues a little bit of insult to injury as he splashes about in the water. Uh, and rolls Cantana with seven. It, Dirt continues to drag his scythe through the river. As it, as it kind of comes out, like uh, some light sparks kind of fly off as, it, as he drags over the rocks, uh, sharp, further sharpening his already lethal weapon. Uh, he's gonna walk right up to Pong Tong and Rag Drag and say, um, I already ate shit once today. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> a little bit before that. That's a lie. He's definitely gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm actually probably gonna do it again. <laughs> but you know who's gonna eat shit today? You two losers. Oh my god. What the hell? That doesn't yeah, sound like no. mind control, Craig. <laughs> oh, what did what did you talk about? Tong Tong, I think we've been had. I don't no. think Craig, I think I think I think Craig has betrayed us. No, shut up, bitch. No, we need, we need to kill him. <laughs> Dirt kind of right. like no. Dirt kind of shakes his head for a second. He goes, "I'm also mind controlled." <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm totally mind controlled. You can go ahead and roll a, a deception <laughs> at disadvantage. Oh my god. You, yeah. Uh -oh. um. <laughs> and just in case he rolls down to a one, because uh, he does have a negative modifier, we're going to have Rag Drag once again try to make an insight check. Nah, man, you just said you ate shit. You're full of shit, too. Come on, Pong Tong. Let's pound him. Shit, I should have used my inspiration uh -oh. for that. Oh, they're going to take you to Pound Town. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else on your turn? No, uh, that's it. Oh, hold on. Yep, yep, yep. yep I yep, do yep. have a bonus action. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here now. Uh, Deception check him again. Say, like I was kidding. The last, the last thing I guess I'll do is uh, I'm gonna look at Pong Tong. He looks like the tougher of the two, and I'm gonna hit him with the goading attack, forcing him to attack me. Ah, uh, so a quick uh, clarification about that: you use this when you make an attack. So it's kind of like how McConnell does a snipe oh, like when he hits. Undo um, it. Yes, hundred percent. You're totally good. Uh, we, do we I do I up. control Z that one? Okay, you just. Yeah, we we got you. We got your back. It's, uh, Thank you. Yep. You killed your last enemy, so there was no reason to go to attack it. So I said yeah, nothing. That makes sense. Uh, but I will definitely ask you uh, when you make hits if you have it open. Uh, if you want to uh, try to draw the ire of the target. No, I just I didn't read that, so uh, I'm I got it now. I'm good. Perfect. Typical uh, end user didn't read the manual. It's true. I just I skip through and hit accept. <laughs> All right, McConnell, it's on you. All right. I uh, I lament a little bit the death of the of the uh, of, of Shim Sham, but I know it had to be done. But I I still uh, I carry on with my duty, 
as I take a step forward and I look at Ratface and I, I do what must be done. Now he's prone, right? He is prone. Does that mean any advantage? That is advantage, no? that it's correct. Okay, yes, okay, cool. All right, so he's prone and he's flopping around. He tried to attack, uh, he tried to attack Dura, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he just- He just whiffed. He's a, he's a, he's a, he just magic carved all over the place, right? So, <laughs> uh, I bring my sword up and he's prone. Now I'm just gonna try to chop. I I know it sounds brutal. I'm really I, I feel bad, but I'm literally gonna try to chop him in half, like his body in half. <laughs> All okay. right. With my great sword. Go ahead and make an attack with advantage. So just go make a great sword attack, and we can have it roll. Well, fortunately got advantage. Oh my god. We're gone. We'll try. No, no, we'll try. Again. We'll try again. Yep, you have advantage. Uh, so you can roll again. Yeah, that, You're yeah. good. Oh my god. A 19 does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. All right, I bring my sword down with swift justice right on his, like, literally half of his body. Yes. Boom. Ooh, that animation is so good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really cool. What, you can see a uh, trail of red start to flow down the river as your greatsword cleaves into his body, not quite severing it. Uh, deals eight damage. You have the option to use a smite if you would like, but you can always make another attack again. Not yet, not yet. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I failed. But it's like chopping wood. You gotta keep chopping. You gotta keep chopping that shit. Like, oh you God. know, you ever been out there and just start splitting logs? That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to split this motherfucker in half. Walnut split a log Fuck. into his hand. Wait, really. advantage, advantage. <laughs> that is advantage. Go ahead and roll again. A 21 does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Another swing brought down with might. Absolute might. You continue hacking away, dealing another 9 damage as you bring down the greatsword again on Ratface as he's trying to deflect it with his uh, greatsword, but to no avail as he has to keep his head above water. Uh, you're able to hit him twice, dealing grievous wounds, and those are your actions uh, for the turn. Uh, let's see, bonus. Uh, I think Pong Tong's got some stuff in store. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll save it for now. I'll, I'll pass, I'll pass. <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to move? Do anything? No, I'm, I'm sticking right here. I'm gonna kill this one. Oh yeah, this is the this is the log shop. I got you. Yes. You can hear some more some more screeching from the hills down to uh, your guys' south, I guess. A little bit uh, from up the up the where the waterfall is, and this time the arrows are finding another target. Gonna go ahead and make these attacks. Oh, Rodney, what's your AC? Fifteen. Oh no. Mm. A fifteen does hit. And with a thock, an arrow hits your side, dealing. Ow! Damn it! That you piece of shit. As if responding to your call, another arrow flies out, this time thudding Stop into it. the tree next to you. The fuselage is not done yet. Another arrow thawks into your side after the first or second Ow. one went wide, with a final one trained at you. Uh, but this one, you're able to pop off with your musket before it can find home into your torso one more time. Taking a bit no, of damage. I'm definitely not making Pilates this week. <laughs> Keck, you just witnessed arrows fly in and uh, and hit Rodney. You're in the range of fire. What would you like to do? Um, I'm actually going to use one of my uh, bardic inspirations on McConnell. 
so that when it cycles back through, he can just obliterate anything that's in his oh. way. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Go ahead and uh, just click the icon on your character sheet. It'll ping in chat, and it should automate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that nice. looks sick. That's what I'm Perfect. feeling. I'm just feeling fucked okay. up right now. <laughs> um, let's see. I only have one more basic slot left, right? The graphics amazing. Yes, you have one more basic slot and two more level three spots. What are my level three ones? Your level three spells are Dispel Magic and Major Image. I have one, I think. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good buff on you, McConnell. Bro, yeah. this looks cool as fuck. Like, yeah. Actually, <laughs> yeah. can I do a major image, but have it be of the snail and it blocks where the arrows are coming from between where myself and Rodney are? And like basically like right here mm -hmm. so that if they try to shoot, oh shit. If they try to shoot arrows at us again, they'll be afraid to because the snail is there. I think that's a very, very smart use of a major image. And yes, used a in Bardic Inspiration, which is a bonus action, but it's not a spell, which means you're totally free to cast uh, your major illusion with your action. I think that's really, really cool. Okay. And then... Figure how I'd like to use a spell. How do I uh, like, yes. cast the spell and just place it on the shape? Like where on the map? Yep, you just, uh, when you click the image icon, it'll turn to a fill dice. There you go. And the place measured template uh, will let us know exactly where to keep your illusion. Okay, right there. Nice. All right, and you see there's a phantasmal uh, image of a large, large uh, snail uh, forming before you. Uh, now, they will have to make uh, their saves when they want to interact with it. Uh, so we won't need to worry about that right now. Your uh, your illusion is up. Uh, that was an okay. action. That was a bonus action. You still have movement. Um, I'm actually going to stay right where I am. Perfect. And Taking enter. the illusion. Nice. And also become a snail. And <laughs> Three snails now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. We'll pass the turn back on to Rodney. All right, RJ. Once again, it lays itself to the real carries to do the work. Probably should let McConnell handle that guy. Let's help out Craig here. I'm going to sort of climb over and get a better angle. And then I am going to ready a firebolt at Ragdrag. Let's let it rip. Oh no! Oh no! This is gonna do some crazy Ow. shit. It's okay, RJ. It all happens sometimes. There's medicine for this, don't worry. <laughs> oh my god. The firebolt arcs at Ragdrag, who turns around and bats it away with the ferocious swing of a shield as it lets embers fly out, then turns back uh, to look at Dirt and Craig who are in front of him. So that was your action. You have a bonus action up and a uh, and movement. Uh, I think you may have a little bit left over if you'd like to use it. You, you are very kind with that one, dude. <laughs> I am going to... Uh, I'm gonna end my turn there. All right. We'll pass a turn on to Craig. Well, Ray, Ray, I don't think I'm mind controlled anymore. I'm so sorry <laughs> about what happened back there, brother. Wait, hold on. What's that feeling inside of me? Oh, no. 
Now he's jumping in mind control again. Red Drag, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just immediately <laughs> try to hit Red Drag again. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and make your attack. I'm so sorry. I thought I was killed. Boom. And 18 does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. And this will trigger sneak attack because you have an oh. ally within five feet. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ray Drag. This my bad dog. Oh my. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is your damage? Oh, no, I've got shit. a problem mode again. Oh, God. Sorry. It hurts. I think Ray you broke my rib cage. Ray Drag, I'm so sorry. You're making me go goblin mode. Wait, do I have like unlimited goblin mode basically or like Yeah, it's a it's a cantrip. Uh so you can uh, use okay, that every gotcha. single turn. I'm so sorry, Red This is my bad dog. As the first resounding thud st almost stuns him a little bit, he's able to regain his composure enough to catch your second goblin mode club uh, with his shield. <coughs> <coughs> He starts to cough up a little bit of blood as some of his ribs have punctured his lungs. Oops. You know what, Craig? Oops. Oops. It's okay. That? It's okay. Well, I forgive you. Thank you. What? I forgive That's... you. Hell yeah. That's cool, man. You would <laughs> never kill anyone if you didn't feel like you had to. Just what? like us. Right, Craig? You guys have killed. I thought you guys said you didn't kill people. We, we didn't, but you're, you're beating me half to death with the stick. Yeah, that's because I'm mind controlled. I, 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 it's okay, I forgive you. So forgive me if I have to, if I, if I shank you. No, nah, bro, I'm just mind controlled. It's not like, I'm telling you, man. It's mind controlled, so don't hit me back. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't hit me back. Don't. Perfect. Perfect. You've got <laughs> your, uh, you have your, uh, that was your, um, action and your bonus action uh yeah. would you like to use any movement uh hong tong is un uh will do an attack of opportunity if you move away yeah. from hong tong right i can't attack of opportunity you know? that is correct kinda... thanks to your fancy footwork i could like i could like move around Pong Tong. <laughs> you totally could uh, here we go uh, and then just hide behind dirt <laughs> yeah i'm gonna move around and hide behind dirt hey dirt uh, I'm gonna need you to like help me out, bro. Okay. When, <laughs> when Craig gets over here, uh, I'm gonna gonna kind of look at Rag Dragon. We'd be like, forgiving you now will be useless once you're dead. What the hell, man? That's kind of me messed up. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess you know, easy come, easy go. It's all right. That's <laughs> that's my old turn. Perfect. We'll pass a turn back to Grukel, who continues to move around. And now, Craig, you've been shanking Rag Drag. Yep. You can hear a heave of effort uh, coming from the south behind you. And look up in the air and see a rock hurtling at you. What the hell? Oh, God. A boulder flies from above and crashes into the tent next to you, sending it to the ground as some of the crates splinter. You are able to dodge. You do not take any damage. And uh, that is Grukul's turn as he continues to stay out of the game. Alright, it's time it's time for some more. It's time for some therapy. It's time for some therapy, Craig. We'll nice. save you. No, we'll save PT. you. PT, you don't gotta do that, bro. PT, oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Up no. to halt. 18. Oh, oh, halt. Oh, is that a reaction going on? That's right. Oh. Dirt notices the attack about to land on Craig and initiates his sentinel. <gasps> oh, shit. Now you fucked up, PT. You shouldn't have done that. Let's go. Oh, that's a huge, amazing huge. use because I'll that's play. gonna force me to roll this again, which I will do, and we'll Come take on. the lower result because it's disadvantage. Yes! A twelve <laughs> does Losers. not hit. Way to go, man. Losers. That was good. That was a 
good use of uh, your reaction because that attack hit, which would have forced Craig to, one, take a lot of damage, and also have to save against being stunned, which would have given every enemy advantage on attacking him. Ooh, and tonight is turn. That's huge. That would have been a huge amount of CC, which you just avoided. Well done with that use of Sentinel. My hero. That was so good, man. You know what, PT? You're a fake goblin. I know that about you. You guys aren't even real goblins. Fake Get goblins, your hands off goblins. him. What? I, I'm. I'm an ogre. Oh. That's what I'm saying. We're we're not ogres. even a real goblin. What? I have I have two heads. I, why would I be a goblin? Dirt Dirt's gonna spit up at Pong Tong, but he's only gonna like get, like spit on his like thigh or something like that. <laughs> and it's like the tiniest little droplet. Yeah, Pong Tong is uh, just gonna remain uh, next to uh. It's gonna move up. No attack of opportunities will be provoked, just to make sure. Uh, uh, she's straight up with uh, uh, just by Ragdag, uh, Ragdrag, who's uh, fighting uh, up to his last moments, and that will be Pong Tong's turn. Ratface is on the ground prone, and will use <laughs> half of his movement to no longer be prone. Let's we'll see. We'll take a step around. Not oh, going to provoke an attack of opportunity, still within your range of attack, and is going to try to attack you with a great sword. Uh, oh shit! And Help nine. me! Woo. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. The you can see after stumbling up, Ratface is able to kind of get some of his bearings, and you can see. Well, you know, he may be a hobgoblin, but he's well-trained as a great sword sinks into your side. Now, last time, uh, you, shrug you, you shrugged off that great sword blow, but not this time. It sinks in, you can feel some blood leaking through your armor as you take 11 damage. But, because Shimshum is dead, martial advantage is not procced. He does not have an ally uh, to jump with it and did not have enough movement to attack your allies. So, good play last turn. Good. Mykonids continue to move further and further off the map. The truffle snail dragon thing is able to move out of your vision as the rest of the tribe continuing to follow along, cheering at it, celebrating its movements, celebrating its glory as the truffle dragon. And they have exited the combat zone. Goodbye, we love you. Ragdrag is uh, not having a pretty good day, but says, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you uh, you just got to hit people with a great sword. I will die an honorable death as he oh, swings a great sword up to a 20 uh, toward a dirt. No. Oh. It would have dealt 10 damage, but due to your rage and your sturdy barbarian body, it is reduced only to 5 as you take non-magical physical damage and shrug it off, dividing it by 2. Ooh, not bad, dude. But, but, got an ally within 5 feet. No. Oh, no. Ugh. It's extra damage. It dealt 14, but it will get divided, so you'll take only 6 seven more damage because it added on damage to that physical thing your rage is still going to kick in to martial advantage uh, so we will handle the hp bar updates for you as rag drag just holds his ground is going to try to cut you down with his last breath he is a warrior through and through he's only got five hp left as he passes the turn to the person he attacked Dirt, what are you going to do? Get this fucking <laughs> dirt. <laughs> dirt just took an attack from both of these guys. And it feels a little bit of like a, like a, a little scrape. But it's not going to affect him. He's going to go full force. Oh. 
Sir looks up at Rag Drag. You made your last attack. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and then Sir's just gonna reel back his scythe again. And he's gonna do like a double 360 twirl of the scythe in the air, really adding some flair to it. He's gonna start flapping his own wings and he's gonna gain a, a little bit of height and he's gonna ready that scythe perpendicular to his body, straight up and down to bring it crashing straight down on rag drag, targeting the flat top of his helmet to drive this scythe straight into his brain. Easy. Oh my God. Man. Easy. Oh man. Oh. An 11 does not hit. Or does it? My inspiration from the drugs kicks in. Yes, sir. Yep. Go ahead and roll your damage. So, remember how I said uh, that uh, this was inspiration? Mm -hmm. And I said that you just take a 20 and you turn it into a natural 20. Oh no. A natural 20 is a critical hit. Go ahead and roll one more d12 by doing slash roll 1d12 and we'll see if you kill him dead. outright. He's already dead, man. Just do another What's attack on yes. him? Just, just do a slash roll 1d12. Oh, okay. We've got to let you get all your damage in. 1d12 or 1d20? A 1d12. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Oops. You do a slash roll <laughs> and then 1d12. All one word for the uh, after yeah, space. I got it, I got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, you dealt the finishing blow was an 18 uh, in terms of total damage done as your seed, your scythe cracks right through the helmet and you can see some of the gray matter start to ooze out as Rag Drag falls mm. to the ground dead. His mouth slightly moving as if he's whispering one last word. I, or one last set of words. I forgive you as, as his life ends. Uh, that was your first attack. Uh, anything Third. else you would like to do? Doesn't really hear what he's saying because he's too busy trying to get the tip of his scythe out of this guy's skull. So he kind of starts <laughs> like pulling back and forth on the weapon and this guy's loose limp body that's falling to the ground is kind of like moving back and forth with it. Uh, finally, the scythe comes free from, uh, from his head. Uh, dirt kind of swings the scythe off to his side, like swinging like any blood or, or brain matter off of it, like a like a samurai would do with his, his katana, right? Just kind of like spraying it off onto the ground. And then with his uh, non-dominant hand, his left hand, he's going to point over at Pong Tong. He's going to say, you're next, pal. And he's going to he's going to grab that scythe again with both hands. And this time an undercut swing as he drags it across the ground towards Pong Tong, aiming for that weak kind of open leg region of Pong Tong's legs. He goes for the the, the oh. leg, the sweeping attack on the legs. Oh, <laughs> and 18 does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> Nine damage as your sight tears out flesh. Pong Tong stumbles a little bit, but is still standing a good turn. Uh, Dirt is also going to notice that this guy's quite a bit larger than him. And he's mm -hmm. going to say, you've talked tough this whole time. Your fight now is with me. And he's going to goading attack him. There you go. Pong bon, uh, Tong is going to try to save and try to beat a DC 12 for wisdom. Oh, it was up to a 16. Yikes. It says... Well, two heads are better than one. And uh, is uh, continue ready to make combat. Two heads for now. <laughs> That's brutal, dude. All right. Action, bonus action. Uh, any movement you'd like to do before you end oh, I'm staying Perfect. here. Oh, yeah. Hold the line. I am I am uh, Craig's uh, tiny shield. <laughs> <laughs> My hero. <laughs> All right, McConnell, it's your turn. And you do have a Bardic Inspiration, which means you can add him 1d8 uh, to rolls that need him. Okay. 
As I'm still kind of reeling from being hit with the great sword from Ratface, all right? I uh I did get hit, but I also at the same time, all right, I try to turn my body around because I want to prepare my own swing, right? And so I bring my sword up and kind of like in a a swiping motion. Uh I want to try to just like uh, I don't know, just try to hit him I guess right in the neck again. Cuz how tall are how tall are they? They're about the same size as you. They're normal sized. Okay. All right. Uh, wait. What? I'm an Asmar, and they're as big as a, is an Asmar like the same? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. either, either way. Either way. Yeah. All right. Um. Anyway, I just try to aim for the neck for uh, on rat face a little bit. All right. Let's see that great sword attack. Oh, a twenty-two does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Big damo right here. Come on. You got this. You got this. Yeah. Ooh, if, if it weren't for his greatsword able to slightly parry your blow, but not enough strength to dissuade you from landing that hit, takes nine damage, bringing Ratface down to a pretty scary uh, uh, position in terms of his injuries. You have another attack, and you got you got smites open. What would you like to do? Yeah. Fuck. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this next attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I've hit him in the neck. Now this he's bleeding just as bad as um what's his name? Shim 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 Uh so he's bleeding now and I, I notice that and I go for another attack. Same place, same place. A twenty does hit. You can go ahead and roll your damage. Come on, please, please, please. Yes! Let's go! Holy shit, dude. And oh, this time go. you are able to cleave his head clean off as it oh. falls the splash into the river. Yeah. A Fucking trail go. of red <laughs> flows underneath the bridge as the very life essence leaves his body flowing downstream. That's I'm the a, end of Ratface. I'm a menace, bro. I don't even <laughs> want to be. I don't even want to do this. They made me do it. They made me. I'm the real one that's my control. Are you being my control? <laughs> yes. Uh. I am Dirt. the puppet master, and you are my clay, and I want you to kill everyone. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I guess cool. I'll have to. <laughs> Kek is so cool. Dirt out of the corner of his <laughs> eye sees the head fall into the river and just. <laughs> and then just like continuously makes eye contact, shifting back and forth between both of Pong Tong's heads. And then uh, as he's laughing, as 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 Dirt sees it and he's laughing, I make my move. And after I after I cleave the head off, I go like that, like an Asimov kind of like like dash, like this. <laughs> Holy dash, shit! Right next to Pong Tong. Hey, what's poppin', McConnell? And that's Whoa. it. That's why. That's why. I, that's where I am. All right. Dude, he's so cool and polite. Here's some more, uh, some more scrambling uh, uh, from the side. As there's clearly some reposition happening from that cliff down, uh, down over here. But first, they're gonna make a intelligence save. Ooh. I don't a four definitely is lower than a fourteen. They're not going to attack attack Keck who's standing just in plain sight. Uh she is fully protected uh by the snail image. They're not sure okay. as to what happened. Uh but they will set their sights on Well, they just saw Rag Drag die at Dirt's hands. But there's a lot of people going on, so I think it's going to be between Craig or McConnell. Don't hit me. Don't fucking hit me. Please, not me. Don't fucking hit me. Don't Please. let the dice decide. No, Don't I'm fucking mind do it. I'm mind controlled. Please. You can't beat a 16. They can't beat a 16. No I'm way. Oh, so how about we do this? How about we say this? You know, Craig looks a little bit less armored than McConnell, but McConnell's what? also bleeding a little bit. So we're going to roll... We're gonna flip a coin. If it's a one, they're gonna attack Craig. If it's a two, they're gonna attack McConnell. 
Yes. I think that's fair. Okay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> come yes. on, guys, come on, I'm mind controlled. You might get yes. hit for the first time. <laughs> nope. Never. Mind control. All right, here we go. Fuselod, uh no. blows at you, and I think your AC is 18. Yep. You have so yeah. much AC. Damn. It. You dodge the first arrow, no! but the second one catches you in the side. Can I sentinel that? Uh, no. This is. It is a, a reaction. Oh, never and... mind. No, when a creature you can hey. see attacks the target other than you, I can't see this guy. At all. That is None correct. There, yeah, they are out on the uh, on the all distance. Right. But I mean, you do have a reaction uh, crate for Mr. uncanny Pepper. dodge if you ever if you ever want to use it far. Uh, to have damage. You totally can. And I'm gonna have them continue making their attacks. No, please. Oh, that's. Loser. Hero <laughs> <laughs> veers off and hits Polython. <laughs> The second one uh, is the only one that hits. Uh, the other three completely miss as you're able to dance with a a nimble with a nimble goblin-like dance. You're able to dodge ah, all the right, arrows. God damn it. It's, um, Mr. Pepper. Yeah, these are some uh, these are some uh, these are some cold rolls that we're getting. Uh, so we are going to have them pass the turn to Keck. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move forward a little bit so I can get in range. I'm still behind the the head of the snail a bit. Yeah, you're covered. Uh, let's see. Kex almost like spent. You have done quite a lot of uh, cool things with your spells. Yeah. Um. Okay. I have a question. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, my weapon proficiencies. I've never stated what kind of weapon I really even carry around. Does that matter or? Not really. I think uh, initially, I think we give you a uh, rapier, just a nice okay. thin blade that uses your dexterity, not your strength. Uh, but okay. effectively, it's a one shot. You can do whatever you like. Okay, because I wanted to swap it out for the hand crossbow. Oh, um. Yeah, we'll see if we can uh, sneak one into your inventory, uh, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do about that because you never um, you right, haven't had me... to use your rapier yet. Uh, you do have okay. other ranged attacks though, if you would like. But what are you trying to do? I uh, just ate in some damage, but because there's not really, I don't think there's really anything else for me to do. Can I do another enchantment? Can I do another bane? Yep, and you should see a crossbow on your action sheet if you want. Perfect. So you you can always auto attack with vicious mockery or with a crossbow. Uh, whatever you'd like to do. Ranged is a perfect uh, way for a bard uh, to to play. Okay, I'm moving a little bit closer. Should be within thirty. Okay. <laughs> Their leg is within thirty. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, no, wait, is this 30 to 120? Is it depending on what? Uh, so, uh, uh, basically, um, that's kind of the range where the crossbow is going to be at its most effective. The first okay. number is below that number. That's going to be like, no issues. Beyond that's going to be disadvantaged because the bolt's going to kind of fall. It's a little bit far. Okay. And then everything beyond that second number is like, no matter what you do, you can never hit anything else maximum range. Okay. All right. I'm still going to do the crossbow on oh, Tong Tong. Yeah. I think you're within 30 feet. I think I just measured it, so you should be fine. Something? Maybe? Oh, 13 is really low, but you know what else is low? Hong Tong's armor. Uh, nice. That does hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, cool. Take my seven. <laughs> a thock right, of a crossbow uh, bolt to the side, and uh, you dealt seven damage. I'm gonna end turn. Oh, uh, any movement? You're, you're good. Oh, you're trying no, to stay I'm in right the shield here. of the uh, the snail image. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
you have the ability to move it around if you would like. Oh. How far? Uh, I think you can move it just like uh, any spot that's within range of you. Then what happens is that the uh, image will try to move naturally. So it'll be can like I, little snake. Can thing. I move it like over here? Eventually, I want it to be like. I think here you can move it that turn because it's within range of your spell. So you can go ahead and do it. Okay, I don't know how to move it. So. Uh, perfect. Just ping where you'd like to do it, and we'll move it for you. Like right here. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's gonna be uh that's gonna be pretty solid. All right, that's the end of my turn. Awesome. That is solid. Rodney, what's up? I see some measuring happening. Let's do some measuring. Yep. Man, a few words. Well, <laughs> look, Rodney, it's time to get involved. See, as always, we hid in the trees and waited for the people with less IQ to get rid of them, like the cannon fodder. And now we make our move, bud. <laughs> Walk up towards the other bridge and take him in Pong Tong. And I'm gonna strap on, uh, you know, a couple extra little, like, under barrel attachments onto the arcane musket. And I'm gonna fire uh, three scorching rays at Pong Tong. Oh man, Scorching Ray. Let's go ahead and see that. So we're gonna make three attacks. That is your first one, and 19 does hit. And then the third one. Thirteen hits. Go ahead and roll damage on that one as well. Uh, I didn't roll the damage on the other one, so I'll just do it manually. Ooh, there you go. Yes, these these are these are separate attacks. Well, good. We'll 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 handle the HP math for you. Uh, from your gun, three scorching rays. Well, the scorch your target. They leave grievous burns, dealing a, a pretty good amount of damage. So that is your action. Uh, you have a you have bonus action and a movement. And I think there is... Uh, did your damage for that first one include... Oh, there was no damage rolled. Uh, please roll a 1d8 uh, for your arcane firearm bonus damage. Awesome. Thank you. Yep, there was no damage rolled in, so that is a 5 5 up 20 damage delta ponton of fire damage as she lets out a scream as some of her skin starts to burn as a sickly sweet scent of burning yeah. flesh uh, starts to emanate around. Uh, Derek, Craig, and McConnell, you can definitely smell it. Mm. I'm going to sort of yes. look at Rodney and shrug my shoulders and be like, see, kid, that's how it's done. Why don't you give it a shot? I'm going to use my bonus action to have Rodney use a force strike. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, kid. You're getting it. Yeah, that's sick. All right. <laughs> it's up a small projectile dealing four damage, adding more insult to the grievous injury you just dealt. Now remember, Rodney, we talk shit, we hit them, and then we run away. So now we're just going to move back into the trees and let the cannon fodder deal with it. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Craig, it's your move. Hey, Bong Dong, you know, it's a whole, whole deal going on. Right I just want to apologize that I'm mind control. I guess I'm going to have to hit you with my club again because that's what it's telling me to do. It's making me hit you, Bong Dong. I'm so sorry. Here we go. It comes a little slap. A 13 does hit. Yes. Well, oh, I mean, is this? No, I'm so sorry, Tom Tom. Is this ogre naked? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I hit her right in the knee. I just go, just smack her directly on the knee. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, take, take this, I'm so sorry. Oh. And, uh, oh, no. I'm going goblin mode again. I'm so sorry, Pong Tong. 
A 15 does oh. hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, no. Is sneak attack as well, then? No, it does not. Sneak attack okay. only applies to one attack per round, okay. but... Jeez. Dude, she only club. had four HP left <laughs> with five extra damage dealt. Uh, Pong Tong crumples Oops. to the ground. And uh, her last words are, Who did this to you? As she uh, as she crumbles and goes <laughs> unconscious. What an idiot! <laughs> Jesus, they I'm fell. Gone, dude. They fell for it the whole time. How the fuck are we gonna get the big boy? Oh wait, is it nice? Can, can I still move now? You, uh, that was a bonus action action. You can move up to thirty feet. Yes. Yep. Here we are. Wait, uh, how the fuck do we get up there? I'm going right here. We climbed up the walls, though. Can I'm, I'm you can climb walls. You can up there. <laughs> That's but the end Craig, of my turn, though. Yep, oh, perfect. Craig, as you get there, you can hear the very distinct sound of goblins chittering in fear and the thumping of an ogre dashing away from you. Seems like Grupal is retreating. Ooh. <gasps> See you later, Grundle. And I think that is combat. Grunkle has his will to fight broken. You've slain the entire goblin yeah. ogre camp, and you've let the Myconids successfully reclaim their truffle dragon so that they can live to fight another day. And we're out of combat. I loot. There you Long go. <laughs> okay, that's, that's what I was waiting for. All right, what are you trying to loot, Mikhail? I immediately bend down. I kneel down, and I rummage through Hong Kong's uh, uh, belongings, looking for any uh, any sort of loot, big sword, uh, any amulet, necklace, oh my God. rings, and uh, uh, fucking <laughs> toe rings, like anything I can use as loot, anything. Okay, I'm looking for. I'm scrounging. All right. Go ahead and roll investigation. Sixteen would be a pretty good job uh, looting this monster. You notice a couple things. Pong Tong was big and tough and clearly pretty strong, but very weakly armored. She simply didn't have good equipment on her. Uh, that's why she was so easy to hit. If she was better equipped, had better <laughs> weapons, she could have been quite, quite deadly. But. I guess they simply couldn't afford as good armor as you had, but you are able to find 13 gold on Pong Tong that she was just keeping. Right. Perhaps it was a way to bargain with people. Not that she had much of an ability because she's now dead. I'll take it. Perfect. <laughs> We're awful. <laughs> I'm gonna try to sneak over to where I saw the uh, stuff originally. When we were just approaching the edge of the river, I saw some gold and I saw some uh, some nice weaponry over here that looked like it had been pilfered. And I'm going to try to uh, look through the camp without everyone noticing. Got it. It's uh, mm -hmm. So, you're over here. I think uh, go ahead and uh, roll a stealth check, please. Oh, nobody sees that. I guess they're, uh, they, may be, uh, they may be distracted by other loot, but you're able to surreptitiously walk around the camp. But they may know your general area, where you're at. You're not, like, super hidden, but... Go ahead and loot sneakily. Uh, so now you're going to need to give me an investigation check, please. God damn. It's pretty good. There were a lot of ill-gotten wares over here. Mostly, most of food. Uh, but you can find a huge sum of a locked gold chest. It's kind of buried underground a little bit. But this is a pretty shitty lock. You don't even need to make a check to open it. But inside, you find 600 gold. Right oh in the God. bag of holding. All the gold right in the bag of holding. Yeah, you are an artificer after all, so you're just gonna you're gonna you're gonna shuffle it all in. Yep, and I'm gonna look at Ronnie and go, see kid, now we make our escape. And I'm gonna fire a firebolt out of my musket at the large tent right here. Uh, the one directly below McConnell. This one right here? Because one of the effects from my firebolt is that if an object is hit by it, it ignites. 
So I'm gonna set fire to the camp, be like, now we make our escape, Aaron J. And then I'm gonna dive back into the river. What is <laughs> If I get singed from this, I'm actually gonna be mad. What is he escaping from? <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking pissed. You're Dirt. totally fine. It's uh. Well, while he was looting and whatnot, Dirt paid no mind to that. He kind of just powered down and sat down on one of these little benches around the campfire. Bench? Well, it's like a little, whatever these are, stools. A yeah. stool type thing. They're sitting on boxes. Yeah. He's gonna. He's just gonna sit down and be like, "Oh man, I hope they got some food. I'm really hungry." Sure, get a bunch of poop, dude. What the hell? Yeah, yeah well, I exerted a lot of energy beating those guys up. You still gonna kill the mushroom? Oh my God! Is that ten on fire? Jesus! It's... What happened? <laughs> Must have been oh, the goblins, fucking... right, Craig? Oh, hey, do a bend those fake goblins? Uh, yeah. Heck is gonna search Shim Shim. All right. Right here. Yeah. Go ahead and roll investigation, please. Very good at investigating. No. Whoa. Start to shift uh, the uh, the body around trying to search because you can tell that Shimshum had something hidden. But there's some loose lace, like some something that's kind of tied onto Shimshum's body. Something was attached onto Shimshum, but it. Was probably lost in the river. Unfortunately, you're not able to claim back any loot. But it looks like Chimshum was hiding something. But unfortunately, it seems like fate just had another idea instead. Wait, I have an idea. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. In every game I've ever played, okay, mm -hmm. the really good shit isn't in the camp. It's hid nearby, underneath a bridge, by the water in a chest so i'm gonna come over to this bridge where the fucking dragon snail was and i'm gonna look around in the water to see if anything has uh has lodged itself anywhere or if there's like a secret chest or anything okay uh, so second. while he's doing that dirt's gonna kind of move past the burning tents he's just really he's really hungry again he's gonna walk down here and he's gonna look up at the the snail apparition is gonna be like, Hey, you don't have any more of that, that tasty food you've been rolling around, do you? <laughs> hey, buddy, buddy, it's, it seems to remain perfectly still and motionless, it does not you seem okay, to respond. Buddy? Snail guy, <laughs> I mean, truffle dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Under the bridge, you can see that there's a there's a a ball of shit that seems to have fallen off from whatever oh. the uh, whatever the snail was eating earlier. But it was able to like just catch in, and you can see there's something glinting in it. Maybe something flowed down the river and was caught in its shit. I pick up the food. Why? I pick it up. I pick it up. Whatever, whatever's glinting, I pick it up in the shit. <laughs> you reach in, and you can you dig out uh, what seems to be a ring. It's slightly <gasps> mottled uh, with some of its uh, uh, some of well, it's been it's been in a in a, in a pile of shit for a while. Uh, but it's a little bit dirty, but it looks nice. It's made of gold. It's uh, this could be pretty expensive. I want it. I want to keep it. I want All to pocket right. it. All right, you have pocketed a shit-covered ring. Oh, it's shit. -covered. Okay, <laughs> very well. Can I, okay, hold on. Can I at least wash it off in the water first? Like, can yeah. I no. try to like? You totally can. You've already used your actions. <laughs> You've already used your action to not. There has a lick off. Hygiene's just, always important to paladins now, isn't it? Yeah, it's super important. I want to, um... Do I have anything in my inventory to scrub it? <laughs> not, not really. Alright, I'll just use my fingers and I'll just, like... Just, just like you know, brush it off or whatever. In the water. Perfect. So hopefully we'll, we'll discover what it is later. 
Alright. Seems like uh, people got some uh, good looting going on. And I think the... Uh, we're not uh, done. We're not, I, I, definitely, I definitely didn't figure you were done. But for those of you that oh. were under the effect of the deepening, you've noticed that the uh, colors have started to fade. As the stress of, and the thrill of combat has started to die down, the world starts to become less normal. The trees are no longer waving and breathing, with the colors shifting and dancing. Things have become a lot more normal. That was an interesting experience. But yes, what, hey, what else do you guys like to do? from the... Fungus. We need to go find those people. We need to explore. Well, going yeah, to I'm going to start going after explore. the, the fungi people. Um, well, I, are, I chase after Rodney. As you guys are walking off, the dirt stuff. Yep. As you guys are walking off, dirt's like, Guys, there's something wrong with the giant dragon. What? You guys? <laughs> there they are, right there. Everybody's gone. Guys? He's going to turn back left. towards the dragon. Okay, I listen. I'll... I'll see you later. If you got any more of that delicious food, let me know. And bye. Yes. Uh, so Craig is the one that makes it back to camp. Uh, you were told, uh, or I'm assuming you heard that, like, yeah, it's in it's in one of the tents. Uh, so you don't need to make an investigation check for this one at all. You find something food. that looks like the uh, uh, something that looks like a hilt. It just looks like a hilt of a of a sword. With nothing else on it, it's ordained uh, with a, a couple of cool, uh, cool gemstones. But yeah, it definitely seems magical in nature. Oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, you want this, McConnell? Yes, give it to me oh, now. There you go. Yes, give it to me. Probably trash takes, anyway. Takes help. <laughs> go ahead uh, and give me a Arcana or a Religion check. I'm so bad in religion. Why? Fuck. It... Okay. Fake paladin, dude. <laughs> I'm not fake. I just. Fake paladin. Okay. Okay. Please. Anybody want to assist me? Maybe. Maybe I could. Hey, no, you guys want to help me look at this? Really yeah. All right. You guys want to help me look at this? Uh, Use your eyeball. Yeah, I know tons about religion. I really <laughs> care about it. Let me take a look. Third yeah. Just this eating. is this is definitely Klingon. <laughs> I take a look at it. Yeah, go ahead. You can roll. There you go. Yeah, like I said, it's going on. Yeah, I'm I'm, simple. Well, do remember, you do have a uh, bardic inspiration. I use Ooh. my bardic inspiration. I use my bardic <laughs> inspiration to boost this role of religion. <laughs> I tap into unforeseen ancient religious knowledge to discern what the fuck this hilt could possibly be and i uh, use my inspiration on this all right that is go right ahead. my clay <laughs> you, will mold you. you can just roll a 1d8 uh a slash roll 1d8 or you may have something uh as a macro we set up along with the uh the bardic inspiration uh just uh we just gotta add that dice roll there you go with the oh. two up to a 14 okay dirt that's it that's what Dirt's... you do with my bardic inspiration <laughs> gonna make his way down. I'm like, <laughs> okay. he's he's got hands full of shit. Like he's literally just like eating out of his hand, and he's also gonna take a look at the thing, whatever it is. Perfect. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. We are all so bad. All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna peek over and I'll I'll try and do a religion check. Please, all right, I, the I, entire I, party I in on out. this. Yes, I hold Here it out. It's not even. It's not that high, so. Okay. All right, well, I'll, take, I'll take a fucking look at it. <laughs> we all worship at the altar uh, of the shit lord. We're all a bunch of like soulless pieces of shit. Hold on. Let me just try one other skill check. I already used my inspiration. Guys, guys, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> no, can tell us. Yeah, well, this guy always knows what's going on. It was made by the goblin lord. And he taught, he said that it was to be bestowed upon the greatest goblin. Are yeah, you persuading know. or deceiving us? Okay, you oh. know what? I'm gonna, you know, because it's a religion, I'll do a deception check. <laughs> okay. Look, is it persuasion if, is it persuasion or deception if Craig also decides to believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just flat out deception oh to be totally God. honest. <laughs> You're just straight up lying. This is as, <laughs> yeah. this is as clear cut deception as I have seen in a while. <laughs> It's pretty convincing to me, if I'm being honest. I kind of believe it myself. 
Oh my god! Holy. Yeah, I, listen guys, I think Craig knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I think so too! The new goblin lord. I guess that's me then, huh? Yeah, hold on. Just give it to the oh, Goblin wait, Lord. Said, you're, we gotta give it to the Goblin Lord. Is that that's, what you guys are I saying? I think that's me now, you guys. What the hell is it anyway? You gave it to me in the first place. You didn't even want it. Oh shit! You're the Goblin Lord now, kind of Congratulations. I'm the, I'm the Goblin Lord. Dirt gets down on one you. knee and like bows to Makana. <laughs> I love you so much, Makana. It's just like. Wow. Wait, wait, I, I thought wait, Craig nice. was the coolest goblin, but apparently you're no, way get cooler. Up. Get up, get up. Oh, okay. I forgot it was nice. <laughs> so, McConnell, you do <laughs> you did get up to a 14 on that religion check, yes. which was the highest of that first round uh, before the deception uh, and the betrayal began. Uh, <laughs> so you you do realize a couple of things. Yeah, this is a this is most definitely a weapon, and it seems to be it has some markings on it. Uh, that do remind you of some artifacts that you've seen in the past that some paladins do bring to war. It doesn't have a blade. It doesn't seem to be an augmenting item. Oh, interesting. There is oh, something about this. Would you like to use a bonus action to activate the item as you figured that much out? Yes, I would. Yes. Yes, yes activation. Activate. If you, you, you activate this weapon... And from the hilt emerges a blade of light. Oh, oh my, bro! What the fuck? No fucking way, bro! No That's way. gonna be so cool on Craig. Why no, is the not. number? It's the strongest goblin sword that exists. <laughs> what is this? You aren't quite sure, but with your religion check, you do understand a couple of things. The light that you're feeling on your skin. It's very, very bright, but this is not like your light cantrip. This is almost like it is sunlight. Oh, shit. Oh. This seems to be radiating some kind of sunlight from it. Why the Mycon has had it, you don't know. But if you were to use this against creatures that are weak to sunlight, you know, that could be pretty cool. But you are, just by your martial knowledge, this doesn't require any further checks, you do feel like this is a weapon that you can put your strength into, but if someone was especially good with dexterity, this could be a finesse weapon at all. But unfortunately, you're not able to understand too much more about this item, other than the fact that it's a really nice saber of light, if you will, uh, and it uh, it looks it looks pretty. Dirt, Dirt's gonna look at it and kind of shield his eyes and say, "Can you turn that thing off? It's really bright. I want to get that." I got 18 dexterity. Tech is gonna What's cry in dexterity is 16. <laughs> I mean, I can like stick it onto the end of my scythe. I've got You're 18 totally dexterity. I have 18 dexterity. Yeah. You're using a club. Oh, I think it well, goes to the goblin lord. Give him, lord. Give him, give him, give him the sacred what's your, Wait, what's yours, sword? Rodney? What's yours? I don't use swords, you peasant. I have a gun. <laughs> Give me that shit. Just give, give me a sacred now. goblin sword. Give I me give, it now. I give, I give the sword to Craig. Oh, you don't you have just, to hit me. You, hitting him with your you don't have to hit me. You don't have to hit me. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Hey, stop hitting McConnell. <laughs> Bro, that, what are you guys? Oh, what the hell, man? <laughs> All right. He took my sword. <laughs> I, I swear, if we get in another fight, listen, Dirt fucking listen, powers listen. up and he's if like, if you guys start fighting, I'm gonna bring out Edna and crowd control all of you. You're not gonna like it. I don't want to get shot by Edna. Hey, Cut it out, you guys. We're a team. Calm down. I need a heal. I need a heal. <laughs> oh, I need a heal. Oh. Dirt's gonna power back down and wipe this shit off his face. <laughs> I'm so really hungry. Oh, that's an awfully All right, let's go food. extort those mushrooms for more loot. Yeah, let's see if they got more food. As we're walking over to the mushrooms, I... I haphazardly fucking toss the hilt to Greg. He Thank can you. fucking have it. All right. So into the ground so he has to pick Ooh. it up. Yes, into the ground. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, dude. Craig forgets to pick it up. Wait, where did the mushrooms... <laughs> Are you Wait, serious? Where'd they go? No, Craig grabs it and leaves. 
Guys, they were right I think here. They, I think they left. Oh, you guys yes. wasted too much time. I mean, Why? they um. We got wham. It's, it's not a great sword either, so. Who cares? It's a, it's a really good sword. Fuck you. Yeah. Wait, where the fuck did they go? I think they just left. Where'd we see them last? Like right here? Yeah, yep. somewhere They right were here. heading into the forest with their truffle snail. And you do find a very shittily written note on the ground as if it's just made of condensed spore and rotting matter. Guys, there's a shittily note over here. Yeah. I mean, oh, we must read it. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. Okay. All it reads is, thank you. Don't forget the sword. That's pretty good. Do we forget the sword? Nah, you know I got it, bro. Perfect. Oh my god, god the sword is growling. I got, I got I think so cool. You guys were able to clear out uh, the ogre and goblin camp, thus allowing the myconids uh, to be able to live, to continue to explore the sunlight another day. They've grown up underground after all. Their people do not know what all the stuff that you guys see on a day-to-day -day basis is. They're probably very thankful, and they've handed on off to you a heirloom that's probably worth a lot of money. And I think with that, cool. we can call the session. Yes, yeah. dude. I'm so Let's happy go. none of us died. Yeah. 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 Dude, I, I'm, so, I'm thrilled. Actually. I really like this group. I kind of yeah. wanted to get killed at the end there, attacking McConnell. <laughs> He's a, if, I feel like if it were any other McConnell Red Paladin, he probably would have. He probably yep. would have murdered you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a really nice angelic one. Looks pretty badass, but also very angelic. It's uh, yeah. I think I was definitely rolling up uh, pretty cold today. Uh, so that was uh, it was humorous. <laughs> Those was, uh, arrows, bro. Yeah. Was, yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> we had some great uh, deception calls by Craig, and I just rolled like shit on insight. Uh, don't know how he got away with that, but I don't know. He's a persuasive yeah, guy. Yeah, we, we, really, we got away with like. <laughs> Half the goblin force not attacking for the first like fifty percent of yes, the fucking dude. combat scenario because they're just sitting there like I believe Craig. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but guys, thank you so much for thank playing you, with us today. Uh, yeah, that you. was really amazing. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you awesome. so much. And for everyone that tuned in, thank you so much for hanging out through the session. Hope to see you guys around sometime. Take care and stay golden. <laughs>